Hello. <laughs> it's me. I'm the problem? No. <coughs> You're fine. I'm nowhere near I you. I swear to God. You guys. Um, Rachel's sick. And yeah, if I get sick, I'm going to be angry. You're not going to get sick. Just wash your hands. Seriously, that is the trick. Do you guys know that? I've talked about this. Speaking from someone sick, we must trust How often you. am I sick? I've been like... I have swapped saliva, shared everything with really sick, and I don't get sick. Look at that. No, I mean like share things with Brian. Swapping, just swapping, swapping saliva, saliva with so many sick people. I was just people. being graphic. No, but like I share things with Briar, and she's sick, and I don't get it. That's my point. I sleep in the same bed when she has COVID, and I don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, let's yeah, you get just to pass Sosie. It. You no, just pass let, it to can us. we just get to Sosie, who is? Uh, she doesn't deserve this. Probably our favorite person. She doesn't deserve this she de- she did. talk. Well, what? Never mind. What? I was going to say she did deserve that ham and cheese croissant, though. She really did. Yeah. I am so happy that our souls connected in such a way. Yes, yeah, she's That I knew friend. to get her that specific ham and cheese croissant. Um, that'll make sense. As Later. You stay tuned. <laughs> um, but she is an actor. 13 Reasons Why. Narcos, Mexico. Uh, mayor of East Town. Smile, which I heard is like the scariest movie yeah. ever. I don't do scary movies. Sorry, Sosie. Well, I, I mean, I would. I don't know. I'm scared just thinking about it. Anyways, let's just talk to her. <laughs> okay, we're starting. <laughs> we're starting. Is this a good? Okay. Yeah, um, I think you're, you're great. You are great. <laughs> um, we're so fucking happy that you're here. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, yeah, I was stoked. Yeah. And we, um, okay, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're wow, you you're no, 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 I feel like you were going to start know, with something. I know, you should start. We what don't need an say, intro. <laughs> what I was going to say is that when I met Scoot, like, who is, I mean, for context, like, your yeah, guy's yeah. old friend. Yes. Um, when we met and we, it was, like, during COVID and he, we have a massive age difference. Okay, massive is a bit of a— 14 <laughs> years, that's a lot, you know? Significant. Oh, yeah, yeah, significant. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And so when we met, like, he was ta- always talking about, like, his friends and his old friends and back in the day in Hollywood and all stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, whoa, first of all, this time in Hollywood sounds wild. That was not— <laughs> Like, I lived here in my 20s, and it was not the same experience. <laughs> um, but then, like— he would kind of mention people and I didn't really know. And then like one time we went to this, um, this dinner during COVID and like walked in and Sophia Bush was there. And I was like, wait, what? Like, and I'm like, Scoot, I don't think you understand. And then he was meant talking about Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. And I was like, Rachel, who? And he's like, she's an actress. And I was like, who? And he's like, Bilson. And I'm like, I'm like, you have to, uh, that's, those are my, those are my, I'm, that's like my generation where I was like fangirling, watching every single episode. No, for real. Like those were, meant everything to me. (laughs) I have all the box sets of like One Tree Hill and the OC. I mean, I feel like the OC, I was a little older, so I have like a bigger connection with it. But like. I was like, you don't understand your friends. Like, I'm not, these aren't just like actors. Like, I am, they're like idols. Like, oh and my God. no, but seriously. And so it's so funny. I, Aww. he always was like, yeah, whatever, Rachel. Um, anyways, so yeah. that, huge fan. I feel like it's so funny because me sitting here with you, like, I feel like I'm such a fucking fan of no, you. No, oh my God. Oh, completely. And when I hear that, I'm like, what? Like, you know, like, there's no. no. You're like, I'm Rachel? Yeah, I'm like, wait, me? But like, what shows did you guys watch when you were like, Growing that, up. like, meant a lot to you yeah. in, like, teenage years. Like, Super, 90210. Yeah, like, the original. The like, yeah. yeah, 90210. Yeah. For yes. sure. Like, that's a big one. When we met Tiffany Amber Thiessen, we were like, we grew up idolizing you, yeah. right? Like, that the was one a big deal. Like, that's yeah. what I mean. It's kind of, it, it, I was like, these are all of your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actual real friends, not like no, exactly. Not like no, it was we were all young kids, yes, not just all like friends. figuring it out. Like in our first, you know, we lived in our apartments. We'd all like have sleepovers That's and what I'm like saying, hang like, out your apart- and- like your like your st- first apartments. Like yes, I can't. Yes. It's so crazy to me that he was coming. Like he was basically doing that when I was watching it. 
You know what I mean? Right. That, that's and so, so it's crazy. just a fun, yeah. yeah. And like he was in the Regina Spector video. I'm like, oh my god, what? <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I just like, was hungover and someone asked me to do that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's like, my like it's like my heyday of like yeah. watching shit. And then it, it's just so funny. <laughs> and that's how we feel about your fucking parents. Exactly. Oh, I mean, right? yeah. that's well, exactly like, that. literal icons. That's like icons. real fucking real Isn't it real weird icons. How you just can't like see it from the outside really when you're like. An yeah. actor, or yeah, or you know the, I mean? yeah, yeah, like, or you grew up, like, you're like, what do you mean? I'm like, what, where, why, where do they, what is it? I, like, I don't, yeah, it? you're like, I they're my parents, like, yeah, like, I can't see, like, compare them to, and I'm not saying you yeah. guys have to do that, no, but we I'm should like, try. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm always thinking, like, who could I compare it to? Because I don't get it, you, you can't, don't, like, right. conceptualize it, yeah, yeah, I mean, but it's one of the crazier stories that your parents have been married for, I know, how that so happen? Long. I don't know. You don't know. I, I know. They just, You're like, like, I didn't it do it. together. Yeah. I, think, I honestly think they just, like, stayed together. That's yeah. what I said the other day. <laughs> I was like, you guys just decided not to, like, break up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, because everyone always asks them that. Like, what's the secret? Right. I, I don't think— you're like, there isn't one. You like, don't you yeah, like, I just literally don't yeah. think there is one. Right. Because I think you end up—you you run the gamut of, like, feelings about that person. You have to. Yeah, you must. Yeah, of course. And, like— there's, I didn't. I mean, I don't know that. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, I don't know them. I don't know <laughs> them like, well. I don't know. <laughs> no, but I think they like would. They kind of didn't show us a lot of like their struggles, you know, growing That's up because they were really wow. like they they were, felt that was really serious and important. My mom did so. I don't really know. Were you raised in New York? Yeah, I grew up in New York. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, and then I moved here when I was like twenty. Twenty. Yeah. It's uh, interesting. I was watching. I always say it wrong because there's another one, but the mayor of Easton. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Mayor of, I don't know. East mayor of Town? East Town. Mayor yeah. of yeah. East Town. I think sometimes. I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I was watching that. I never, ever, ever do this. Yeah. I stopped and I was like, I need to know who this person is. Aww. And I like looked it up and went down a like hole and I was like, oh my God, that's fucking Scoot's girlfriend. <laughs> like that's so I nice. was so taken with Aww. you. I just was like. It was one of those feelings where I was like, I need to know who this person is. Like, right now, I stopped what I was watching to, like— That's really, like, such a big compliment. <laughs> Thank you. No, because you're incredible. Thank you. Massively talented and, Thank and you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like— I know, when you're saying fangirling, like, literally, yeah. like, the amount of respect Aww. and just, like, it's just—it's amazing. That's honestly so nice. That's, I, like, that's cool to think that you, like, stopped because— it is kind of like those shows. I did so many guest, cool guest star like yeah. arcs. I feel like that's kind of how I ended up getting like a, mo- a bigger movie. It was just because I did a lot. Like I ended up doing arcs on like really good shows. It just was like luck. It's not like it was anything else. Um, mm. Or <laughs> and ta- maybe talent, mm. but I mean, as in I didn't get, like I got, well, I actually did get the job, The Magicians, which was on for seven years, but I got fired. So that wait, was lucky. What? Yeah. Why'd you get fired? Yeah, wait, what's that? I don't know. Rewind. What? What? Rewind. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So I came out here and I was like auditioning for like a year and I was just like not very good, I don't think. So then I was like, I got to get it, like really try to, you know, study and everything, which I had before, but more seriously. And then I got The Magicians, which is this sh- sci-fi yeah. show that was on yeah. for forever. Forever. I shot the pilot. Waited six months. Oh. Okay, first, first of all, yeah, Ugh. waited six months. Found out in, like, the chat that it was, like, picked up. And then I got a call that was like, and you're not <gasps> going with it. And I was like, what? And they just, they recast the role. I had no, I have no idea why. Absolutely no idea. I don't think I'll ever know. And I, it's fine. But I would have been on that show. And you wouldn't yeah. have gotten. No, yeah. Right. Like, I would, it, maybe I would have been secure and steady and, like, a lot, yeah, financially, and all that. but like all the. I guess what I'm trying to say is all the guest star arcs that I got really, I think, helped me because yeah, they, yeah. yeah, I think that they just. It was a good way to try out a lot of things for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I always talk about like when you look back and in the moment you're like it's devastating or whatever. Like right, why totally. you take it personally and whatever, but then it opens up these other doors. And I know. It's totally paved the way. One hundred percent. It's so hard to see that in the moment. Oh it's my god! Brutal. And so yeah, hard. And but, how old were you? You were like, oh, I was like, probably like twenty one. Right. It and was so and I, young. Yeah. And like, what? In I, yeah, I got over it. Like, it wasn't. 
earth shattering. It was just, it was just shitty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, but the Completely. ego is dangerous. I know. Like especially at a young age, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, like it's I don't fragile. know. It's fragile. It is. It's interesting you say that because I always wonder if like all of my issues or problems or whatever come from. Like I always, it's it's easy to just like say childhood, and then it's interesting you say that because there is like that early twenties time that is just like very bad. It's very it's so confusing. dark. It's so dark. <laughs> it's so like dark. I wouldn't. I would never go back to like any period of my life basically before now. We always say that. Yeah. I don't. Isn't it weird when people are like, I would. I wish I could go back. No. To nope. nope. <laughs> like absolutely like, not. No. Why? No. Exactly. Like, I don't want to be a kid again. No. no. That's a fucking not. No. I don't want to go to school. I don't. Hell no. no I don't want to go to school. We've been talking about it because I moved back, you know, oh, where yeah. I moved. Oh, and yeah. that's where I used to live. And so everyone's like, oh, do you love it? And I'm like, it's kind of giving me a little bit of weird feelings because totally this is where that. I was in my 20s. And it just feels like totally. a little sticky. I you know? totally get that. Like a place, like New York is, I, I mean— I think I had a lot of fun actually bringing the kids there this year. I think that was the first <laughs> time I I liked it since I left because it just gave, it was like that I'd land there and I just have this like heavy feeling of whatever I was experiencing like at, at whatever. So I totally get that like yes. a place instigating a yeah. feeling of like ugh. Yeah. there's a yeah. lot there. Totally. I mean, yeah. I wonder if you you probably could have like grown through. Do you are do you hate it? Do you hate living in Studio City? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm like trying to be positive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hate it, but it, it, She's it brought up feelings it. that I didn't expect. I thought it was like, yeah. oh, great, this is perfect. But then being there, I was she like, felt like she I felt like, right? I felt a little bit like I was going backwards. Totally. Like it's, yeah, no, I, I 100% understand. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> you know, you and Sku have really similar eyes. Really? You don't know that? Do you know? I feel like we kind of, I always thought that we, people used to say that we looked alike. Oh, I that's was, a yeah. huge compliment No, it was a compliment to me. Oh my God. When I had dark hair and was like younger, I feel like because of the dark eyes and the yeah. dark hair. But I'm I'm trying to think, do we really have similar eyes? Very much That's so, so interesting. I feel like there is something sort of like familiar, like not to be creepy, not like yeah. familial like my, but, but when I met him, I <laughs> right. felt like a certain like, no, kinship, yes. yeah, that was sort of— That's like a super, soul connection, like, exactly. you know, that's not yeah. weird at all. I went to see a—or no, my husband went to see a past life regression person, and they told him that we were brother and sister in a past life. And I was like, I was for sure the brother. Oh, I thought you were— t- <laughs> No, 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 no. Which one was the boy? Yeah. No, no, no. No, oh. so I do—I mean, I buy into all that that's stuff. Awesome. I'm like, there mm-hmm. is that— that soul connection totally. when you meet someone, yeah. you're like, why do I Wait, how know did you? Yeah, know why me? do I feel like? Oh, we met on Narcos because I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was, and he, and he was like really in the thick of it when we met. Yeah, like, yeah. And I was like, this is this is perfect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> seriously, when I think about, it, I'm like, what was wrong with you? But um, <laughs> worked out well. But we met. Um, I was I played a, like a part that was. Um, it was so much fun. It was like this like wife of a narco and she was like just this like it was just so much fun. Um and Mexico's amazing. But anyways, I went out there and I did like a whole bunch without seeing Scoot and then we had a couple of like scenes together, an episode together and there was like not it was not like a love connection. We were <laughs> oh, like really? he was going through a lot. He yeah. was like one of the sweetest stories about Scoot though is that we had a scene the next day. And he was like, I saw him at the, um, like walking back at the hotel. We were in this tiny town. And he was like, you know, standing there like, hey, whatever, and talking to me. <laughs> and um, he's like, do you want to run lines in, um, you can just come by my room and we can run lines for tomorrow to really get them. And I, and like, normally I would be like, mm. but, but right. like, I was like, he seems like so sweet though. Like, like I feel like, <laughs> and I, so I went to his room and he put a pillow in the door and left it so it wouldn't close the whole time that I was in that room. Oh, you would feel comfortable. Stop it. Isn't oh that like, God. stop it. I mean, it really shouldn't a be that. The no, door. that's everything. No, that is that's everything. Everything. They just have to do the baseline respectful. And we're like, yeah. oh my God. But oh, no, so no it was, is that not the sweetest I'm not, thing? I'm like, so, like, I know. that's game over. Right? Yeah. I literally cried. When I got back to my room, I was like, he's so sweet. Like, <laughs> 
But isn't that so? I that was is like, like the oh most tender yeah. and like, oh my God. That is, he's a good human. No, he's really being. a good person. He's a real, we did a tell, play together. Oh, you did? Yeah, we okay. did. Wait, was it the last one he did, the like horse? No, no it no. was with me oh. and Max Winkler. Oh, you did, you did, this is our youth. Yes. Oh my God, how fun. Oh, yeah, just God. the three of us. It was, that, yeah, it was incredible. Did I see it? Yes. Okay. I have a brain thing. I have no yes. memory. It's never personal. Me neither. I've yeah. never had a oh, memory. I said oh, okay. Max Winkler. Great. It yeah, was I was like, not I was Max like, Hoffman. Wait. Max it was Hoffman. Max Hoffman. Yeah. And uh, he, was, yeah. but that didn't get yeah. it right. Yeah, no. Okay. It's not not right. the Moth Theater. Is that where you guys did we it? We did it oh, at no. Stephanie Fury Theater. Okay, got it, got it. Got yeah, it. like on March Mont. And yeah, that was like one of the best times of my life. That See, play. there's like those pockets, oh. right? Like 20s. Where it's usually something like that, like art related. Right. Yeah. Where you're just like, this is so fun. That was like the best. Yeah. Time. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. That is that's so, so funny. fun. I love that play. I wish I could do it like whenever I want. I think I'm too old now. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the age? But I feel like you could play really young still. Yeah. I, so I have that problem where I look like that and then it's like doesn't usually work because they're like you just you seem a little older and then it just re- recently I've been getting. So my niche thing that I'm getting now. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, I'm not I'm not working and I haven't been for a while and I would love to. <laughs> My niece thing is not working. I'm like, first of all, I'm just I'm not busy. Um, but but what I keep what the scripts that keep getting sent to me is like young mom yep. who's like struggling. She's gotta be Ugh. um something she has to just have gotten out of prison, she has to live in a trailer, park. whatever it is, it's like they've it's, it's always got just- to be. And she's got to be a young mom. Because I think, like, I look young, but I seem old, so it's not really, like— Well, you're, yeah, like, you, very I, I'm mature. not going to lie. It's really good it, for you. Because, like, <laughs> no, it's so good. Because you you know what it is? It sounded funny. I'm, I, I understand why they're doing that to you. You understand what I mean, Explain though? Explain I understand exactly what yeah. you mean, and I understand why. Is because— <laughs> My science is not like, No, I get it. Is <laughs> because women who— have to grow up because of their circumstance, whether it's yeah. poverty, whether it's having a baby young, whether it's prison, whether right. it's whatever. They've learned something about life that right. a typical 20-year-old mm. hasn't. Yes, and so sure. they look young, right. but there's something more worldly and more like hard, like hardened kind of like like Mayor of Easttown, basically. That's what I'm saying. You That's know, why when I, I look at that show, I'm like, I look up. like a Baby mom. I look like so young on that show. <laughs> Very different. I feel like COVID really yeah. aged everybody. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do no. you have sign do you have congestion problems? I have so bad. <laughs> She's like, do you have issues? I have chronic sinusitis. <laughs> no way. No, Maybe I- that's what I have. Really? Maybe. Dude, I ha- I'm always congested. Is you it when you like for moles? What? For moles? I'm wondering if you've tested for moles. So oh at- the house in Laurel Canyon, yeah, 100%. It was mold because it was, like, so bad. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You're probably right. It's got to have it. Because the, at, my, at the new house, I didn't have it for so long. And then I got COVID again, and then it came back. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. How do you get rid of mold? Because we're not moving. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's ways. Is there? Someone just sent me a bunch of information on it because I want to get our house tested. Dude, just it, from the age of the house, I'm like, got it's got to it. have mold. And I'm like, should I, I should probably get my house tested. <laughs> well, think about it. Yours so. has been redundant. I got, but I have like this craziest thing. Like I, I shot like a underwater scene. Okay. This was like 18 years ago now. Yeah. Oh. But the water, there was like a bacteria or something and it got, this is so, this is really sexy. Really it's sorry. sexy. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? Attractive. And it, it got, and I had sinusitis and then it, Cause like, what is sinusitis? It's just like a chronic thing. Like if I don't sleep, yeah, it acts up. It's weird. No, one hundred percent. I feel like everything <laughs> is about sleep. Like yeah. I will. Yeah. Like <laughs> if I haven't slept for the like, re, I haven't been sleeping very well. But literally, I'm like, I hate my life. I yeah. hate you. Like I'm so oh, dark. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, what? I've been doing the same. No, thing. I don't think it's. I think it's like really one of. I think it's like the most important thing. Like I went to therapy once, yeah. and she was like, "Did you sleep well last night?" And I was like, "No." And she was like, "You should go." Yeah. And like sleep, and then we can talk because nothing right now is like real. I'm like, <sighs> holy shit. Okay. Oh my. Well, I get that. Yeah. I have such a hard time though. Like, and I don't know. I'm like insomnia. I have the worst. You do. I, I'm up all night. What, what do you do to what help do you do? it? Do you knit? I heard you're a knitter. 
I want to knit. From, do you from really? Who? From <laughs> someone. Someone may have given us you. the tea. <laughs> Maybe an oh, obsessive wait, I, it's, knitter. I'm, no, it's like it's truly a problem at this point. Wait, what? Well, it's just that I haven't. It's just that I haven't worked in so long, so I have to do something else. Like I don't know what to do, and so, so you're knitting. And yeah, so I, I, I. Is it in there? Yeah, I, I have it. I swear Feel this free. wasn't planned. I mean, I if just, you need to. Yeah, if you need to <laughs> knit while you like, no. If you need to for your... No, let's see what I have. Broad Ideas is supported by Talkspace. Do you think seeing a therapist or psychiatrist would be helpful, but you don't have the time to actually find one and meet with them or afford them? Try Talkspace by doing everything online. Talkspace has made getting the help you want easy, accessible, and affordable. When you've met your therapy goals or simply want to cancel, Talkspace has a simple cancellation process and will work with you to get a prorated refund or unused time if applicable. At Talkspace.com, you can sign up online and get a personalized match with a provider that's right for you, typically within 48 hours. It's incredibly convenient to have virtual sessions with your licensed therapist from the comfort of your home. Therapy can help you shift your perspective, find tools to cope in difficult times, and be a guiding light. Talkspace can help with any specific challenges you might be facing. It's the number one online therapy platform with licensed therapists in over 40 specialties, including anxiety, depression, substance abuse, relationship issues, and much more. As a listener of this podcast, you'll get $80 off of your first month with Talkspace when you go to Talkspace.com slash ideas. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com slash ideas to get $80 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's Talkspace.com slash ideas. Broad Ideas is supported by Paired. It's a relationship app for couples. You and your partner download the app, Paired Together, and every day, Paired gives you questions, quizzes, and games to have fun, stay connected, and deepen your conversations. Olivia, Rob, and I have been having a lot of fun with Paired. (laughs) We have found questions to prompt each other, like, who do you think should pay on a date? We have covered this extensively, and I'm happy that Paired presented it to us. You'll never believe what I found out about Rob and what he likes to wear to bed. (laughs) Everybody out there would like to know he still sleeps with his white socks cap on. (laughs) It's simple and often hilarious. Each day you get a quiz to play or question to answer, and you cannot see your partner's answer until you answer yourself. Whether you're just a few dates in or have been together a long time, it's time to lighten the mood and have fun with your partner by using Paired. Head to Paired.com slash ideas to get a seven-day free trial and 25% off if you sign up for a subscription. Just head to P-A-I-R-E-D dot com slash ideas to sign up today. Connect with your partner every day using Paired. A happier relationship starts here. Let's see what I have. No, I'm not going to. I won't. Wait, you it, but have? No, you guys, it's, it's actually really fun. And I, I think it's good it. for I someone need to with learn. like anxiety. Yeah. I need it. Yeah. Because it'll make you like. I need to occupy. Exactly. Like, just, just constant. I always talk I about see, this. I go to meetings and I see women. Knitting? That, always. Like there's I like one or two women that will knit the I whole time. I love that you have your whole like bag of set up. Yeah, too, I have my to go bag. Yeah. But no, Scoot is honestly like, do you think you'll ever not be knitting um, for five minutes? <laughs> <gasps> what do, what you, do you make? Okay, so I think that this, by the way, this started like three weeks ago. So it's oh, not like oh, I'm like new. a professional. New. <laughs> but I think this will be like a like a vest or like a tank top. Cause so it's tiny it looks tiny, but it's not really. Did you teach <laughs> so yourself? Honestly no. embarrassing. No, yeah, did you is, teach yourself? I taught myself, you yeah. Did? What did you do? Watch YouTube? Yeah, I just watched fucking YouTube. You can do anything. Do you guys realize? <laughs> no. Do you guys realize? I'm like but we could build a house like right now. Yeah. Just watching you. Yes, it's so crazy I it. how like anything. I think we should. Like, no, but seriously, like anything <laughs> anyone does, like you can learn it. It's amazing. That's amazing. It feels like that's not true, but then I started trying things out, and I'm like, I like make. What jewelry. else did you try? Oh, yeah, we jewelry. heard about your jewelry. What are you doing? What are you making? Well, let's see. Just do you have it's, any? Okay, no. making jewelry is harder. I have this. I made. It's like I legit swear I'm jewelry. not like coming on here to promote. <laughs> <my> <laughs> it's like the 
shop or something when you have an Etsy shop? No. Because you should. Like, I don't. So, like, I just want to make sure everyone knows I'm not trying. This isn't my career. Oh, my God. Oh, no, but I, but I made this. It's really hard to me. It's just a, a ring. I'm seeing. It's nothing. Wait, what do you mean you made You wouldn't. Like, it, like, I, like <gasps> I bent the wire. I soldered it. Like, whatever. That's I'm hard. Sorry, you sorry. just dropped wire. solder. Yeah, you just dropped solder. <laughs> Daughter? That's what I'm saying. I just it's it's all or nothing for me. What? Oh, Scoot like got me a workshop. He like a set up a workshop. He's so <gasps> You have a workshop you for have your a jewel- workshop. That's real jewelry though. Like I'm talking like yeah. I went on the Taylor Swift friendship cra- bracelet craze right, with my right. daughter. That's where it that's started. Like, that's where, that's it where started. Where it starts. Yeah, it's because a I was like beating. It's a gateway drug uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, no. Um and then now I have like a fucking blow torch and I'm like welding. <laughs> I'm like about to burn down the house. Uh, that's no, it's, amazing. it's really fun. You guys can come over and see the craft. Yeah, the craft I am corner. so into it. So, but what else do you make besides that one ring? You're like, oh, I have no. a whole workshop oh, for that I, one no, ring. No, 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 no. Okay, so with jewelry, it's like <laughs> harder to like knitting. You just get like yarn and knitting needles, and then you can make and you're, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like. Learning how to like welds and solder is actually quite difficult. It's more of I like I wouldn't a, think it wouldn't be. Yeah, right. Honestly. Totally. And you need like a ton of materials. So for that, like I'm just sort of like making the rings takes like a while to learn. You know what I mean? Like it's kind you're of just, step by step. I, I can't even wrap my head around. Yeah, like, because I, you're melting metal into metal. That's so fun. it's kind of When's your birthday? Really fun. What sign are you? March. Right? So I'm a Pisces. Okay. But I'm mm. a Sag rising. Okay. So I think Sounds that's more like of you, the you yeah really yeah more of the life. I wish I knew. I always ask but I don't really know anything about I, mean, I do. I feel like I. Oh, you're. Yeah, I, I think you're a Virgo, right? Yeah. I. I looked it up. Oh, okay. Because we're. Like, so, that's impressive. No, 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 no. I can just tell. By yeah, that. it's a no, vibe. <laughs> I was curious because I was listening to your guys. Podcast. I mean, before obviously, and I was like so interested. I oh, well, I you're not love- listening to it now. No, as in like before I came here, like I've, I've like I've been listening to it over the past couple of weeks to like just to get the and and I'm always like when I hear dynamics, I'm like, what sign is everyone? Oh, so it was really what sign are you again? Libra, Libra, right? Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah, because Virgo is, I I love Virgos and Libras. I mean, lose a Libra, and she that's is? my nickname too. Yeah. No way, you guys should meet. Yeah. She, <laughs> 10. <laughs> She's awesome. Wait, so did you do the whole Taylor Swift thing with her? She doesn't really care about Taylor Swift. I would oh. say that's more of a me thing. Oh, I was going to say, because no. you were doing the bracelets. I'm like, oh. I didn't make, like, specifically Taylor Swift. We were just making bracelets, yeah. but she was, like, fairly uninterested in it in oh. general. Um, Interesting. Yeah, she's more like, she's, like, more of, like, a mental, she's very... Like, I actually think your moon and your rising sign, like, kind of matter more than your mm-hmm. sun sign yeah. a little mm-hmm. bit. This is so L.A., I know. But <laughs> we're, I'm all about it. Yeah, okay, no, good. We yeah, do okay, love it. Yeah. I just this is don't a safe know much. Space. No. You're yes. safe to, to go all. 100%. You can do our numbers, whatever <laughs> okay, you need. Yeah. So I think, like, Lulu's got, like, Aquarius. She's much more like her moon and rising. And she, um, so she's very into, like, comic books and, like, um, What's it called? Uh, anime. anime. And like, mm. she just asked me the other day, she was like, can we get a Dungeons and Dragons game going over here? And I was like, whoa. Oh. I have like, <laughs> wow. no. Yeah. But we're really, really close because, you know, we're super close. We just like completely different things. Right. Like, she's a total That's like. So I always wonder about the Dungeons. Dragons. Yeah. How do you, how like, do you get there yeah, in life? How you, yeah. I thought it was, I mean, I was like, what do you mean the arcade game? And she was like, <sighs> <laughs> what? She's like, it's a, it's, it's like a board game, and I was like, yeah. no. <laughs> and like, you have no. to come up with a character. It's serious. You do. It's like a really involved, yeah. long term. I did. Thing. N- yes, it's like months and months, and you have like a, a table where it's all set up, and everyone comes over, and then like yeah. leaves, and then you. But what's the point of the game? Like, what's the I have no to idea. slay Dungeons and Dragons? It isn't is? it? I think it's a quest, right? I can usually pick up on it if someone's a Dungeons and Dragon type of person. Really? Oh, you'll just call them out. I'm on like, it? that's a dun- that person plays Dungeons. Oh, and Dungeons. Yeah. And their dragons. vibe, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for totally, sure, one hundred percent. Casper, who is just here. Oh, he's a he's a D and D guy. Well, yeah. Do we know this? Yeah, because maybe he about and Luke can hang out. Oh, yeah, he <laughs> makes yeah, yeah, he makes little miniatures for, and like, like paints game. them. And there you like, go. Yeah, like you know, like, yeah. A fa- like someone who's obsessed with like fan stuff, not fan stuff, but like merch of of yeah. <laughs> you know someone what I'm saying, likes <laughs> merch, <laughs> like little figurines of yeah. like, yeah. Of yeah. like stuff figurines. they like. 
No, it's a vibe. And it's yeah. like, like they're like into Catan like or Catan. Settlers of Catan is that something we Catan? played at Brown all the time. Oh. Where summer went, I know. Um, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you. <laughs> I know. Well, oh it's not God. the reason why I wanted to go there or anything. <laughs> um, no, but um, hated it. By the way, left after a year. But the people, <laughs> they were like smart kids like that smart. that would play yeah. The, yeah. Um, Settlers of Catan, Catan and Catan, whatever. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how to. I can't. <laughs> I, can't. I can't do it. I am kind of. I feel like we should all like just. As like um, investigators or detectives, yeah. like like go into someone, yeah, like journalists, like go into the game and try to like understand it. Yeah, but I feel like I your know. house is right for it. Yeah, for sure. You for know, sure. I don't want like, a, I don't want a table of the stuff though. Really, no. it's like constant, <laughs> never. It no, never actually, goes away. there's places. There are places for it. Like it's so. I feel so bad for Lou because I have like the jewelry studio thing. Henry has like a carpentry area. And like Lulu's like, I want to make slime. And me and Scooter are like, no, no, no. And she's like, I want to have a dungeon. And we're like, you have to have it. I feel, I'm like, we have, oh. Scoot, we have to give her something. Like yeah. that is like a permanent table yep. for her. I will say anytime slime's brought up, I'm like, absolutely not. It's just a no. It is a no. It's no. No. It's no. It's it's like, what is, it just destroys someone's home. It's yeah. the worst. And when you get it as birthday presents, you're like, why? It, I think it's a passive aggressive move. I do too. <laughs> I think someone actually secretly hates you. For real. Right? Or like Play-Doh. I don't know. No I don't, one gets the boy slime. I'm sure they do, but I, I don't I think I like throw it away or something. Yeah, okay. you might and play play doh. Play doh is gateway drug. <laughs> play doh is a thing in my house. It's like a really bell. Oh God! How, okay, how old are your? Oh, I met your your kids. Oh you my God. did, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, they were at the Christmas. I'm so sorry, I missed the, that. Yeah, they were I know. at the white elephant. I know, it was not there. Uh, five it was and fun. eight. So five they're and eight. the five year old is really into play doh because he builds things and like plays, fights it, and like my whole living room will be covered in play doh. Oh, okay, no. I have an idea for you. Oh, let's hear it. And I saw this on TikTok. Oh, what? Which I shamelessly watch at least three hours a day. So <laughs> there's this Waldorf school teacher. Yeah. Who she kind of gives me like anxiety, but she's also seems cool kind of. But anyways, <laughs> she has, she orders this thing from, um, she orders beeswax mm. from mm-hmm. Europe that's basically like malleable and like you can warm it up and make it into little, you've heard of that. I had it when, Briar was little, but I think I never had the patience to get it going. Oh, got it. Do it's you think that they would like closet. they would warm it up because it's it's apparently much less like messy, crumbly. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't yeah. crumble. It doesn't crumble. It's more like wicky. But, do you so know wicky his, sticks? No, but he likes to crumble. That's his whole oh, thing. Got it. Who's Shep? Yeah, he's a crumbler. Oh. Shep, he's, oh my god, Shep, he's so cute. Oh my god, he's, he is the most beautiful child. Oh, he's cute. I was just like, what? He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, Shep. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah, wiki sticks though. They're like wax sticks. Okay, got yeah, that exactly. The kids can That's play probably with. it. You never had wiki stick? No. Okay. But his whole thing is the crumbling. crumbling. Okay. So I'm just like, you know. Either. Yeah. No, no, whatever. I mean, who gives a shit? At a certain point, it's like, just get through the day. So That's it. I don't care what you do. I, I let them draw on the walls. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, what? how do you deal with that? I was that? like, you can't say anything about this. Um, <laughs> like, is it, are you a rule enforcer? Yeah. Or are like, you, what's, what's your? I mean, I think like, it's, it's run the gamut. When I first, I think it's hard I would say overall, the hard thing about it is that like when you first come into the fold, you just want to be like so fun and yeah. like yeah, kids love me and like I'm pr- I, I was a nanny like I'm pretty now I'm like <laughs> with other, like <laughs> I, like now actually being a parent I'm like not as interested in playing with other people's kids but it's exhausting what, yeah exactly but like before that was kind of like my thing and so. It was really easy for me to like just be really fun with them, and then you know it gets to the place where you're like, wait, like I can't just be that. Um, right. And so, anyways, that transition has like totally happened with a lot of difficult parts in between. But the lucky thing is with them, and like I think this is just the age I met them and everything. Like, they're they've never been, they've been like brats to me, like the same as to the sure. dad. But they're they've never done like the whole like you're not my not, that's never happened oh, and yeah. I don't even think it would like enter their minds like they yeah. just don't feel that way we don't have that relationship yeah which is so lucky I can't imagine yeah. like meeting them older or what, uh, you know brutal right. brutal to where they're like you're their, not my mom yeah. and, it, like my yeah. ego probably couldn't take that I don't right. think I would just it's just like it would, I would be yeah. so like hurt by it so luckily although there's been a lot of hard things 
yeah. But now I'm I discipline them just like I mean, yeah, like Scoot has like no, he's not good with like a routine or anything <laughs> like that. So like I'm I have like a whiteboard like putting oh, it all do. on the wall. I'm like for yeah, like I feel like I kind of run that kind of stuff. We, we basically have a same as like I would I don't know because I've never been a biological mom, but I'm a, I'm assuming it's similar. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Yeah. Do you want to be a biological the mom? Runs mom? The show. Just yeah, the mom runs the show. Yeah, yeah. Just, just yeah the we, get, we get what you're saying. Yeah, we're <laughs> yes. very familiar. But yeah, it's <laughs> hard. But it can be hard because you're just like I shouldn't be, and like you know what I mean. There is that certain sense sometimes of like. I have that feeling of so it's it can be hard. It's a lot to get through as a couple and as a yeah, you know right. But, but and at the going same into time, it so young too. Yeah, like just, when I was an idiot. I I don't even. <laughs> it's like twenty six. Like, can you imagine? No, no it's young. No, it's you, young. you went in and you had like instant family totally, children, which and is all of actually that. harder in a sense than having your own because. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like what? Look at they're not comparable, but there is something harder. Yeah, when you have to kind of learn your boundaries and learn your place. Exactly. As opposed to when you have a kid, it's like you're going to do with that yeah. kid what you please. Because, I totally. And yeah. I think you're spot on when you say like learn your boundaries because I think well, I came in. I mean, 26, and also. I didn't have good boundaries. Like, nobody around me had good boundaries. Like, we're just, it's not, you know, yeah. I wasn't like, I didn't have much, like, learning in that sense. And then coming into the situation, I was, like, wanted to be with this person. So I kind of, like, really didn't have any. So I think it's, like, learning. That has been the best thing I've learned. I'm so grateful. It was, like, a speed sped up track of learning that shit. Because right. I, it didn't come naturally to me. And I think it would have taken me a lot longer had I not been faced with this like constant yeah. like challenge to those parts. You know what I mean? So yeah. that was like really, I think, I mean, I'm so grateful. It's, yeah, it's difficult, but I'm not like, wah, wah, poor me. No. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you, do you want your own like biological kids? I think I probably did more before. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't I don't know like it's it's a interesting I was actually thinking about that that this morning. I think there's a part of me that wants it like because I can see how like when they are like look like you and they're like a part of you and you know what I mean there's yeah. there's this sort of different connection although I do kind of feel like just by nature of the fact that we've spent it's an interesting like nature versus nurture right. conversation because yeah. it is they have so many mannerisms that are like, and Scoot's been working. So I spent like a lot of time with them just yeah. alone, like for actually like weeks, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And so to me, I'm like, they're so, they're like equal parts. He and he yes. and I sort of in their vibe. Right. And it's like so weird how mm-hmm. they weren't. I mean, you know what I mean? Isn't that, yeah. it's just crazy. Yeah. How that, and sometimes I'm like, we kind of look like, you know what I mean? Like not really, but it's just a fate. I don't know. No, we talk about that so much. All the time. Really? Yeah. Nature oh, yeah. versus nurture. It's a because, fascinating yeah. conversation. Like one of the things my husband always says that I love is like, he always says, um, genetics loads the gun, environment pulls the trigger. Oh, and it's like, so your genetics are there, right. right? But they it really depends what environment you put them in. Mm-hmm. And so if you put a human being when from zero to seven years old, they're under a state of hypnosis virtually. There's no rational thinking until right. age seven. Right. So they're being hypnotized, right? Right. By you. <laughs> Brainwashed. I know, that's why yeah. I always say to so student, I'm like, like, we can make them do whatever we want. I don't know if you get that. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, obviously, you're in them mm-hmm. because you're in those most formative years where everything yeah. True, yeah. that they're processing, their whole entire filter is being yeah. established and you've been there the whole time. Right. right. No, totally. It's so true. It's banana. And it's like the way, and it's also like the physical, like Henry the other day was like, but ba ba da 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 and going like this, and it's like I'm like, oh my god, you look exactly like when like just <laughs> speaking with his hands. Or I mean, I know this is, this is a not a visual medium podcasting, but like, like he he was like, he's speaking like like a New Yorker, like it's not right. he's not look like w- where he's from. You know what I mean? It yeah. was just so funny because I was like, oh my god, Henry. And then he at one point he was like reading tarot. I was like, <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> And like it's just so funny, but it's so true. It's so interesting. And did you guys have step or anything like in your family? What like what was your young? My mom. We just my, talked about that the other day too. We did. 
I'm worried about her. I know. I know. I'm, 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 I'm the same way. Yeah. I started like this morning. I'm like, what if it's like early onset something? Anyway. No, I don't think so. I don't need to go there. Could be childhood trauma, perhaps. Trauma. Also, <laughs> yeah. physical brain trauma yeah. when I was like 14. Yeah. Probably put you it in a lot no, of weed in my youth. that's huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Step four. Oh, yeah. My <laughs> parents. Thanks. My parents divorced when I was like nine. Okay. And then my mom, who's been with my stepdad ever since I was 15. So. And that's that's a hard age to get yeah. a step. Oh, God. That's a yeah. rough age. That was rough. And I yeah. was, <laughs> I was rough at that age. Yeah. yeah. Well, you no, know. but I mean, it's like, oh, uh, it's. That's the thing. Like you're like, I totally understand why you would hate me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, as a, that's that must have been hard. It was for fifteen. But yeah. for you, they were so young. So no, that's what I mean. I got yeah. I got so lucky. But are, yeah. do you? What about your stepdad? Now you're not really like. No, we're, I mean he's I, he's I lo- there. He's <laughs> a wonderful grandfather to my daughter. He okay. Is. Oh, that's he like really amazing. Is. You know, awesome. and I'm so grateful for that. But I was at an age where you. It's harder to establish no, like yeah. a parental relationship. No, like, you, can't. you know what I mean. Yeah, like it's just no. not. It's a weird age for that. Totally, but, um, totally. Yeah, we're all close and have such a close family, and he's just wonderful he's wonderful. With I awesome. love him so much. Yeah, stepdad. my daughter. Yeah. yeah, he's a very kind. Like we lucked out for sure. Isn't it crazy how like you have when? Because I didn't obviously I had Insta kids kind of. Mm-hmm. Um, I felt finally started to have like even an iota of empathy for, like, my parents when right. I got, like, right. kids in my life. Like, because right. before, you know, when you're young, you're just yeah. like, ah, you're blaming. And then, like, when I'm doing it, I'm like, oh, my God, wow, it's really hard. <laughs> so have hard. they embraced so it? Like, are they grandparents? Yeah, they've— Oh, they yeah, have, good question. I know, it's crazy. They, that's, they, so, at first, I think it was probably challenging for them, and I totally— well, you were 26, get that. I was like, 26, guess what, mom and there were dad? Four, and he was 14 years older than me, and there was a lot going on. And, like, but to Scoot's credit, like, the craziest thing is, is that, like, they just really loved him. Like, yeah. they just knew. And I think probably everyone knew more than I did even because I was also, like, you know, had my own, like, 26-year-old, like, stuff. So I think my dad, I remember my dad, I was, like, talking about a fight we were having or something, and he was like, I mean— God, just give him a give him a break. I mean, just you know, you know, at least you know. He was like, "Don't like," and I was like, "Whoa!" Why? I knew like my with Scoot. Uh, yeah, like I, he's not he's not he's he's nice to everyone, but like he wasn't he's never like defended. Like yeah, he was just kind of like, at least you know that it's always like with good intentions. And he really said that to me, and I was like, "Oh wow!" So, anyways, but understandably the. The circumstances were fu- fucking insane. Yeah. yeah. So they were, and then, and so the kids, it was also kind of hard. And I think the kids, for them, the, I didn't want them to feel any pressure to like connect or whatever. Yeah. But, and I don't, I think Lulu was a little bit like about my mom because she's just very, she's like a lot. She's really friendly and whatever. And then, <laughs> but like to their credit, they kept, my parents just kept showing up and like then, really kind of developed a good relationship with them. Yeah. And it's crazy. And they we went back to my house for Thanksgiving, my parents' house, and it was like, really felt like normal. I mean, you know, it's it's always a little bit like whatever. But my dad took Lulu to like this haunted house thing. It was so Aww. cute. Yeah, like, so yeah, she really, really loves my dad. And my mom, she's just like, you're, I love you because you're there. You know what I mean? She, <laughs> She she just needs that consistency, but she I think she really like they really connect. So That's yeah, really. Sweet. I know it took a little while, but it was just like I understand. Yeah. That. Well, I, from they a, have really yeah. showed up. That's, That's amazing. That's nice. Yeah. So what were you? Gonna no, say? I was going to say from a parental perspective, like you're their daughter, right? You know, and you're 26, and you're bringing this whole new thing, and you're dealing with all the shit that comes along with it, and right. they're dealing. Of course, from parents like. Yeah. Standpoint, they're like, wait, one hundred percent, you know, yeah, a little and bit, and also like, not knowing probably their boundaries, and then you probably not know, like, it's it's tricky. It it's is tricky. Nothing if not tricky. It's yeah, tricky. but they tricky. But they, I think they always. My mom always really wanted to have a relationship with them. I think they were a little bit more resistant at first, like the kids, and then yeah. So I mean, does your they, brother have kids? My brother, he's older and he doesn't have kids. Like he never wants to have kids. Okay. He's like, we're oh. we're really really <laughs> close, but he is like, no. Like him and his girlfriend are like, we're never. I mean, really obsessive about it. 
even though he would be like such a good dad and Aww. he's the cutest. But <laughs> yeah, they Lulu loves them because they are like really goth, like punk metal. Amazing. And so she's like, <laughs> yeah, she's like they're anime. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. all of our parents get to that age of like, well, ours, our grandparents, but like there comes that time where they're just like, when are you popping them out? But it's nice that yeah. you just were like, are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I know, oh my God. I listened to Cole Sprouse's interview and I'm like, he's Dylan, cool. Dylan, Dylan. Sorry, Dylan. Don't well, take twins. that out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. He's he's cool. Isn't he so, so cool? Oh my God, he was cool. so cool. I was like, wow, I love this guy. I know. That's what we were like. Um, We love you. Which he was shouldn't be like genuinely surprising. one no. of our favorite people. Yeah, yeah. I really, really enjoyed it. Did you it. hear his story about when he met his wife? She sounds so cool. Right? I, 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 I would like, marry her. <laughs> I love her. What was it? The thing she... Oh, I'm still waiting at the door. Yeah. yeah. Like, so I love good. her. Yeah, I, I was really like taken with his perspective and sort yeah, of right. like so grounded yes yeah, super grounded but so are you and it's so interesting yeah. because that is yeah you grew up with very famous parents and did they make a conscious effort to kind of keep you guys like yeah, as nor- so. like quote unquote normal life for sure childhood? yeah like I think it was the a real like um so we grew up in New York obviously so yeah. I think that was also I mean you guys grew up in LA yeah you know? so I don't know I mean but but not without parents in the business right, right? Your parents weren't my kind of. dad's family's in the business, but no, not actors behind the camera. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah, and so I don't know. I don't really understand the difference. I one time I went to a high school party in LA, and I was like, "What?" The-? <laughs> but but it's not like yeah. New York is normal. I mean, it's like Manhattan. It was Manhattan. It was yeah. insane. Like it was. It's like the devil. I know, but it's just <laughs> not about entertainment. You know what I mean? Like, right. Right. That's not the thing everyone's kind of like going after. It's like money and investment and whatever. So I think that choice was big Mm -hmm. to raise us there for not like caring about the business as much. And then also they just, they like really hammer, like hammered it into us of just like you, like, you know, um, just you're not, you don't get extra special treatment because of, like they were really really serious about that to the point where I'm like kind of like okay I think you went a little too hard yeah like take it down <laughs> a, little, a little bit like it's too much. like as an adult I'm kind of processing that but yeah they were very intent intent on us not like you know thinking Feeling that we got that. any anything for, but I mean but yeah so a conscious effort and also didn't want us to be in the entertainment industry really or didn't push it on us or right. like you know what I mean or did yeah, yeah. So yeah. how did that come to be when you decided you wanted to be? <laughs> they were like, great. But it was just we like— We were older. Yeah, I was old. I was 19 when I decided to do it, like, officially. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the messaging growing up was like, don't do this. It's it's so hard, and it's like, you're going to get so hurt, and like, blah, blah, blah. And so I think almost like I didn't want to do it to, like, please— the, in order to please them. Like, oh, I'm doing what you said not to do, <laughs> almost. Like, right. right. Um, but I think— and then deep, but deep down, I probably always wanted to like, not, I didn't want to act when I was a kid, but like, it was what gave me like joy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was that. So, so yeah, like they were happy when I, cho- and they were like, we didn't really care that much about that. And I was like, what? Wait, I thought <laughs> like, but. <laughs> but I think they just really didn't want us to do it when we were kids, yeah, which right. I really appreciate because oh, I'm yeah. sure as you know, it, like it's a lot. It's a lot. My parents were the same way. And they said, when you're done with school, which was high school. Right. If you want to do it, fine. Right, And right. so that's what I had. A, so how yeah. old were you when you got went on? Those, see? Yeah. I was 21. 21. So I got like my first job at 19 or 20. Okay, got it. Yes, you know? it's similar to yeah, me. It yeah, it was a similar thing. But I'm so grateful for it. Totally, because you had like a life. and Yeah, it was nor- like I did the whole thing. That you thing. can remember, yeah, like before. Yeah. Right. I know. And my I daughter wouldn't call now. it normal. But- <laughs> well, like, no, no, I mean, I don't think. But I'll like, that's why I said we're normal. normal. You know? I'm assuming. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. And I always say my daughter, like I can see her like wanting to perform. And, then, and I'm like, no. Dude, I I won't let. I, I'm like, that's the one hill I will die on. Right. See? So, so, so here's the my same thing, thing. When we talk to Dylan. Yeah. I was always resentful at my parents for not letting me really, and really pushing me because I feel like I would have had a lot better chance. Wow, right? interesting. Okay. And then, so that was like a resentment I had to work through. But then another thing is. Did and, you want to do it when you were? Yeah, and I did. We moved to LA from Santa Barbara for me to act. And they told you. What? That's the reason oh. you moved to LA? Yes. 
Charles in charge, dude. <laughs> That's why we you moved to LA lived as kids. In Santa Barbara. Lived in Santa Barbara. We wanted to act. We started doing like we had like a oh we my yeah. sister and oh, I. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we you did a like sister and a brother. Yeah. And I met your brother. Oh, you did meet my brother. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you met David. Yeah. Yeah. She sure did. Yeah. 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 Um, but but then I couldn't keep up my grades or something, and so they pulled me out. Oh man. And so I was always resentful. Like, had you let me do it when I wanted to, I would have had a better chance at a career. I see what you mean. Hmm. That and another thing is, so here's here's something equally as hard, right? I look at my husband, and I'm not going to speak for him, but I'm going to speak for him a little bit. <laughs> He's a, a doctor, okay? And his struggle is he did the exact opposite. And now he's at a place in his life where he's still dealing with the same things we deal with as an artist or whatever, but he's stuck in that box. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like- What is his dream? Sorry. I mean, his I'm real like dream. so much. <laughs> He'd probably be like a country remaking? star or something. Oh, okay. You know? okay, yeah. That's- I can see that. I know. I know. I know what you're saying. So it's like, it's it's going to be, I think life's hard either way. Yeah. I think it's also really hard for people to have something inside that they go against. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To be normal. And then it's hard if you go for it too. I think that's too. The, that would it's be the worst. It's just hard. Yeah. I think the worst option, let's say they all sound hard and everything's hard, but yeah. would probably be like not doing what it is that you love because- of a different path that was, like, set forth for you. Right. right? Which, like, I almost think, well, anyways, but I was gonna, what I was going to say is that you, I get what you're saying 100% because I think about that with people who go to acting, like, conservatory mm-hmm. or college yeah. or something. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm like, so I haven't really studied. I mean, I like, I have, but in, like, classes, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, but I, but they've spent like six years or something at school for it. And I'm like, you're not, you don't have a job. You're not going to have a job soon. Like, whereas I feel like that's like a jump start that you get on people that go to college for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if someone went to, you know, like drama school, I'm like, so I guess not, not that it's bad or good. And I'm people, you know, have great, but I get what you're saying of like, there's like that thing of like, I, if I had started earlier, if I had gotten onto, and I think the question would just be like, would you, I don't know, I get what you mean. Like, yeah. if, if they didn't stop you right, right, from acting, you could have, like, gotten on a sitcom and been on it, like, Jennifer Lawrence or something like that. I know what you're thinking when you look at me. You're thinking Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Except you're prettier. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but No, yeah, but I yeah, see No, but mean. it's tricky with kids because when a kid comes to you and they're like, oh, I know. it's hard because you're like, which way is the right? If she was like you know? begging or he was like begging, I yeah. mean, I think I would be able, I, I told Scoot, I was like, I know I can't put my foot down about a lot of things, even though I would like to, but this thing is like so important to me because I don't know one child actor. Except, I guess, Except for, for Dylan. fucking Dylan Sprouse, yeah, who's not fucked up. I know. I know. We had a few others. Who? We've had a few others that's, that's that we've kind of, talked yeah, about, and they've been like um, pretty grounded. I'm gonna have to. Well, Tiffany Amber Thiessen was one, right? Well, I think you can gain. You you can learn a lot from it. Like even if it's hard. Yeah, it's tricky. I think everyone's constantly learning, and you yeah. get older, and there's therapy or whatever experiences you go through, and right. yeah. totally, totally. come through them. And I guess it's, it's how you tricky. Take it. Did you guys it's do Honey Boy? No, what? No. What is it? Oh, oh my god, it's um, is that Shia LaBeouf? Shia's yeah. movie that he made that's no. like about his childhood, yeah. and he plays his own father. I I don't understand. Like I feel like no one. When seen was it. this made? I knew his dad. What? Whoa! Yeah, his wow. dad's. So he's such a good, he's such a talented person. It's crazy. But he made this movie, wrote it, directed yeah. it, and played his own dad. And then this was like, recent? Years ago. Like five, five, oh my God. six years okay. ago. Maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. It was so good. And it was such like, a, it was kind of like close to home a little bit just because of like, I don't know, everything. And it was such a look into like that world. So, anyways, it's interesting. Watch. I want to so see. So interesting. Yeah, it's really good. I loved it. But, yeah. anyways, yeah. It's gnarly to be, I feel like, to be a child actor. I can't even. I know. I agree. Yeah. But you're I, also not like a, it's different. There's like 
bad parents that are bad at it. And then you would Horrible. be a parent that was good at it. You know what I'm saying? Right. We keep saying no. My kid keeps asking. And he's only eight. You eight. would be yeah. very thoughtful <laughs> about it. That's the thing. So I, I don't know. I think that maybe be better. I do say there's a lot to say for the upbringing and yeah. the you know, parental influence or whoever it is. Right. right. You know, I do like think that. Like the stage mom. Well, yeah, that's why, like, that's, when Dylan was talking, you're right, though. It seemed like they had, like, the... Like a good it's parent. Because he had a good, good foundation. Dad. Yeah. He had a he, good dad. He was raised and with you only need dad. one. Yeah. <laughs> you, you only, only need, need one. one. Yeah. And it wasn't a stage. Like, he had he his dad. Stage. No, he exactly. was like, you're he driving you guys to, you know. Totally. And I do think that that would change. Like, my dad actually, for all the things that they were like, no, don't do it. He did. Then he was like... When I was 10, he's like, but I need you to be in this movie. Because <laughs> um, I played my mom as a kid. And I oh, was like, God. Yeah. Wait, and I was like, movie? oh, my God. It's so, it's a really good movie. It? It's yeah. really dark. It's called Lover Boy, But oh. it's like a really tiny indie movie. Yeah. I feel like I'm, I've heard of it for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, that would be You played crazy. your mom young. I played my mom young. And it was it was cool. I, did, I was like, I don't want to do this, Dad. Like, I've got a, te- like, I'm not. And he was like. <laughs> Please, he actually, and so, and of course I know that they're not like, and then I did another thing. So I think, and then I wasn't messed. I mean, it was two little things, but I think if you if you have your perspective on it, it's going to be way better. I think the difference too is when there's, I think that it gets toxic when the child is the breadwinner of the family. I Hell think that that's, yeah. um, I think yeah. that that's when that would it be... really changes dynamics and all of a sudden they're the adult, not the child. Exactly. That doesn't. But okay, question. Yeah. How would you feel if you were on set with your son, right? Your son? Yeah. Okay, both boys. Um, and... It, he was really, really tired and just like burnt out and just didn't like he he didn't want to work anymore, but he had to work for like <sighs> three more hours. Ooh. Like, how would you manage that? Well, don't they like you'll get candy at no? I'm just kidding. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, pump right. Right. But that's what it's like when I see these kids working, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, they're not like able to be. I don't know. That's what. How it, many hours do they work them? So well, they can yeah, eat? what is it? Eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. See, I feel like I would only let like my kid do it if though. it was like one of our productions or like <laughs> someone that yes, like that it was like a friend or someone you know. You yeah, know? yeah, totally. Like if it was, yeah, yeah. I'm always like jealous though, like on set. I'm always like, like, oh, you got to get them first, and they get to get out of here, know, and they only have eight hours. Yeah, and they're I'm like, like I want the, that the deal. biggest like celebrities. You know what I mean? Like oh, after your coverage, you're yeah, leaving. Yeah, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I know they get so much. I know tension, we really huh? have it backwards. I think it's like no work just as a child, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then get out. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's tricky for me. I think it's my my own like filter, but right. you know. Maybe you could do like plays and stuff first. Yeah. Or like, 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 and they programs. see that it's work and yeah. like it's time and it's not just like this, you know, YouTube. Oh my God. What I, cause oh I know my Elliot's, God. Obsessed Elliot's obsessed with YouTube. With YouTube. Or, I, they or all are. are. Yeah. And it's like, how do they Roblox? tell them to not do, do they that? Ro- do they play Roblox? Do they Roblox? Ro- do they Roblox? Yeah, they do. They, they yeah, Roblox. Yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> I just call it that because it's a thing. I know? know. They, we used to have like before, very, very recently, pretty much like, unfettered access to screens. They were just like allowed to do. Yeah. And then, and then I, and we were kind of like, whatever we did. And then like, we realized like, it makes them fucking crazy. (laughs) So (laughs) we are now like, no, we just like, they, we just didn't have it for a week. And we were like, ah, they engage. They like, they speak to you. You don't have to get them everything. It's insane. I'm not, I'm not trying to be one of those people, but I just saw the difference. (laughs) We just do it. We don't, do any on the weekdays. That's good. iPad, you mean? iPad. Yeah. Oh, they watch TV though. No, oh, yeah. Because well, I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel like it's yeah, important. Yeah, it is different. So to different. have like time out time for them. I was so mm-hmm. like for so long, my daughter just got her iPad like on airplanes. And I'm not like that. Like we watch right. a ton of TV. And right, I'm right. like, you know, we were kids. We watched it. It's fine. Yeah. But it's not the same. Yeah. And like now, because her other friend, I don't want her to feel left I know. out. Yeah, you or, want them to be. You know, if her friends want to play Roblox on the weekend, whatever. I'm like, of course. Totally. You know what I mean? It's like this, or if she's it's, sick. But it's like, I realize one thing, they cannot do it right when they get home from school. No. We need no. like one no. hour of like co-regulation with an adult or themselves. It's yeah. just like, no way. No. No. Because that was making life hell, literally. 
And then also they can't go to it when they're suffer like when they're having a hard time. Because right. then it becomes, I'm like watching like literally like crackheads. Cr- they, yeah, they're crackheads. It's an escape like, to yeah. get a hit. No joke. Like, like Henry would be like, oh, I want my iPad. And yeah. I'm like, no, this is insane. Yeah. You cannot be saying that. It's like you're reaching for the bottle. Like <laughs> it's exactly what it is. It's psychotic. Yeah. So so yeah, it's crazy. So and I think it's very different. Than TV. TV, I'm like, sure. Yeah, sure. TV, I... Yeah. It doesn't do that to them. Like, no. my kids act like dicks. Like, literal dicks when they have their iPad. Like, they yeah. snap. Oh, act, and oh, I yeah. thought you said have dicks. I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> they act like... Yeah, they act like they're dicks. They're assholes. Yes. No, full stop. I know. I'm like, oh, wow, you're a human being when we took them away. Well, it was one yeah. day, Scoot was like... And we're done with the iPads. And they were like, what? And he was like, we're done. No, I'm not telling you when you're getting them back. And they literally were like, I was like, you're a real person. Yeah. Right. It's there, just, you see the light come back yes. in their eyes. No, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, no, it it's, is crazy. It's so bad. But I want, like, Briar's so, her schedule is so full with extra, like, That's every good. day. But is it? Like, I wonder. Because, you know, then we'll, we'll randomly have a down day. It'll yeah. be a weekend, most likely, because every day after school. Right. And I'm like, oh, we actually like can commute. Yeah, can yeah, hang out. So really, she's eight. She's do you, no, she's nine. She's nine. Same. Do you go? Do you have to drive her a lot of places, oh, yeah. or is it all? Yeah, it's constant. It's constant. But I, you know, I'm so happy that I can do it. Yeah. You know, I haven't been away work. You know what I mean? Right, like totally. And I haven't gone away to work since she was little, where it didn't matter, and she could come right. with me. Right. Right. So right, that right, creates right. a whole other. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you use <laughs> something different on your skin? Your skin looks. I mean, it just I got look, it like oh, both of your skin looks really nice. There was nice. like oh, um, really this nice. highlighter, like liquid thingy that I put just right here. Is that what you see? It just looks really pretty. No your highlighter is too, you look supple. so good. Oh, what? Sorry, I love highlighter. I've never oh, yeah, used no, a highlighter. It's I mean, like a, do, you can try. Do you have? What is oh my, it? You have, have a Mary one. Poppins bag. Like I, I actually don't. Actually, don't think I have my makeup bag. She's I like, here's my cat. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, no, the um, I like the even though I know Haley Bieber is a you know, <laughs> some people love her, some people I like the makeup. Oh, She's is got, it like, good? Yeah, because it's it's all called um, Merit Road, right? Ma- um, Road is uh, Selena Gomez's. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm kidding. I love them both. Oh, Hold I love on. them both. They're both great. I, mean, Merit, I don't love Merit either. Is, I actually don't give a shit about either of them. I just yeah. like their makeup. Their makeup <laughs> rare, rare is Selena because I just bought oh. like eye things from Selena so that which I really one is like. Road? I think that's Haley Bieber. Merit is like that natural makeup line. Is that not hers? I don't think it could, is. Could, you like got her, the wrong. Yeah, you got never the wrong. Mind, maybe it's her, maybe she is. I don't know. No, I love Merit though. It's it, like I love it because it's all like um like paste, so it's not okay. like yeah, it just makes you I look know, like dewy. Ilya too. Have you tried Ilya? I have, but the the like foundation is so, too sticky for me. Oh, mm-hmm. but everything I don't know if else probably. But she has anyways. Not she. Okay. Merit has this stick. That's highlighter. Yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna try it. It. It's so it, good. I don't know if I it's tried it, car, but it looks really pretty. And Merit's like a natural. It's good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Sorry okay. to sorry to so, yeah. sidetrack. <laughs> no, 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 we sorry to everyone. Really. I was like, yeah. Exactly. yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna learn how to knit. You honestly should because look, this. I is need to be, be like doing something. You you like can come over and I can craft you and then you can decide which one you want. Oh my god, have you made anything yet, or is this your first thing? This is my first thing. I, I'm not kidding. Like I, I think that's got to be like the sad rising, like the obsessions. Yeah. yeah, and then, but like, but I'll go like full on. You know what I mean? Are you like addicty? Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> I mean, babe, yeah, got yeah. it. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, I think I used to. I I never like went to program or anything, but I did. But I need it. Stop drinking. No, but I did stop. Like, no, I actually don't think so because I stopped drinking when I was 22 and I stopped doing all drugs and drinking because it had gotten, like, so bad. Oh, really? So I just made that, like, choice when I was 22, which is crazy. And I didn't drink for, like, five years or do any drugs. And then I sort of, like, drank and didn't like it and didn't really like drugs. So, like, it was okay. You know what I mean? When I started again, now I don't—I'm not, like, sober, but— I never drink because I just don't like the way it feels. I love the way it like tastes, but that's amazing. I'm just fascinated by that. I know, even though I would say I am addicty, so that's why I'm kind of. It's hard to explain. It's yeah. like 
I don't like, of course, I think everyone numbs to a certain degree with whatever it is. If it's like mm, knitting right. or organizing or control or, you know what I mean? Sure. Cookies. Cookies, whatever. Yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Then, so, but I just don't think that drugs and alcohol, although I did a lot of it, it didn't like take me the way that it could have. That's amazing. That and is I, amazing. You got lucky. Yeah. Because that's not fun. But no. you do have that like more. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, when I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you said shopping. you, whatever your yeah. rank, oh yeah, shopping. That was well, my, my bad one for the past couple of years. That's why I started knitting because I was like, I need to make it, not buy it. Oh my God. <laughs> I need seriously. to knit. You need to knit. I need to yeah. knit. Yes. You do that with the shopping. I and do. you said that you, like, it helps with being anxious. It definitely does. Like, mm-hmm. it, it keeps your hands busy so you don't need to, like, reach for your, Numbing things, you right, know what I mean? Right. Like, do I know? Yes, yes. So are you? So you guys are both. I'm. I'm 13 right. years sober. Okay, got so it. I, are you in the program? And I everything? am. Okay, yeah. But the thing is, is that I feel like not a lot of people talk about that constant need for something, and you hear it when you're like in a program for it because everyone in there is like, yeah, I constantly need something. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I relate. But the world at large yeah. is too. Exactly. I don't, And I don't think you need to be like an addict of no. some drug to have that dope right. desire to like raise. I mean, look at the world we're living in. It's like right. we all want to be feel better, you know? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> like, and so, yeah. And I think shopping is one that people don't talk about a lot. No. What do you do? Is it like bargain shopping yeah, or like real, it? real this expensive is like my shopping? I mean, let's see. Like it just was— like, I, I think that what it originally started as was, like, clothes. And, like, I think when I have— I'm, like, I'm like the type of person that, like, when I have money, I'm, like, I am super generous. And I'm, like, I'm just going to spend it and give it and just— You know what I mean? And then it's, like, it does go away. So it's, like, you can't right. do Interesting. that. You know what I mean? But I'm not, <laughs> like, stingy about it, like, which is definitely probably privilege. But also just I want—I wish I could give everyone, like, everything. So— I started just being like, I have money. I can buy, like, nice stuff. And then I just felt like it became, like, a, I need that, like, dopamine hit of, like, ordering it and getting it. And then it yeah. just goes away. And then it's like, I you know. order and get it, and then the feeling goes away. And I had a period where I was just, like, it was Amazon, like. Oh. hmm Like, sh- T-shirts. Anything. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, oh, my God. And now, and when I think about it, like, do you feel like if you shop a lot, do you yeah. feel like you wear, like, five things and yeah. you don't wear, hundred like, percent. <laughs> Like, like you can tell probably the five outfits or like the pants or whatever and it but it is it's constant. Yeah, it's just yeah. And so then but I it's was anywhere like, and anything. Like CVS, I'm like, oh C- exactly. You know? I'm like, I could find something that I want here or yeah. need here. Oh yeah. It's like at some and it's like you don't want or need any of it and just mm-hmm. yeah, so yeah. She does it for me. Like she she'll buy things for me. Not that that's not even what I'm talking about. But when I'm places with you. You'll get a rush if I buy something. Oh, like 100%. I'll look for things for yeah. her. She'll be like, 100%. she'll be like, do you, do you like that jacket? Do you need that jacket? Try it on. And I'm like, I don't need the jacket. And I can tell I she wants want me to. Yeah. She wants yeah. me like, to. Yeah, like you even buy myself. it for her just to make sure someone got that hit today. <laughs> yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. But I feel like I have to be alone to really do me too. damage. Me like, too. But I'm the same way. I'm yeah. like, I, I, if I go in there, I'm first of all power shot. Well, what's your moon and your rising? Oh, I forget. I think I know I'm a double Virgo somewhere. Okay, got oh, it. Oh, double Virgo. Yeah. Virgo wow. and Pisces sure. are, are sister signs. Did you know that? No way. Because they're opposite sides. So they like, I love, like, I, I love Virgos. But you, um, I feel like a, I'm like a power shopper. Like I'll walk in and be like, I want that, I want that. And, yeah. But I have to be alone. It's like embarrassing alone. if I'm not. Yeah. I like it better alone. I do too. Yeah. Like, I do. It's, it's like you're just, doing you can something focus. nasty yeah, and shameful. And you, no one will judge you <laughs> yeah, for exactly. like that other Barefoot Dreams blanket at like Home Goods or whatever. Dude, Home Goods and TJ Maxx are my. This is, this is you're your speaking her I love know. language. Oh. <laughs> no, but seriously, like I, especially getting a house and stuff, like Scoot was oh, like, yeah. what is this? And he like, <laughs> he really like, because he's like, his whole thing is like, you get stuff, and then, like, I'm the one who has to deal with, like, the fact that we're getting rid of it, essentially. Right. <laughs> but I'm, like, we live in, and, and he's, like, we have furniture, because, uh, like, accumulated from, like, my house I owned before, and then his, like, it's, like, we had a lot of furniture, and he's, like, we just have to wait. You know, he's just fucking practical. responsible. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Responsible and practical <laughs> and just, you know, a solid adult. Yeah. And so I just bring stuff, and he'd be, like, I'm the one that has to manage getting rid of this, so, like, 
And But I was like, I want to make this house feel like a home. Yeah. So it's like, I know you want a better version of that later, but I need a whatever version now. now. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I feel know. like it does. I don't know. And I think both, mine's probably worse, but both are have value, I suppose. Yes. I, I think both have value. I do too. Yeah. I but, think both have value. It's, to me, it's all about how you feel. And yeah. it's like, if it feels unsettled. Exactly. You're not going to feel right in the home. And I think that, not to be sexist, but I think guys can feel settled in a lot less settled of totally. a home. Totally. They can just like tolerate it. They're like, I'm it. fine. I'm yeah. good. No, it's yeah, and I'm like, different. this is the kids. Like, for them, I want, you know, things to feel like normal. Yeah. And yeah. even though it's like, we're mo- we've moved like, Three times since we, you know what I mean? So <laughs> sometimes a rug does that though. No, for sure. You know, I'm sometimes like, that little canister, Q tip canister at home goods does <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Whereas yeah. like Scoot's like, no, I want to get like the crystal one in three years when we have the money. And I'm like, no, I don't care. I don't give a <laughs> no. fuck about the, you know, not like that yeah. specific, but he is like very specific about, you know, so whereas I'm like, oh, have you guys been to though? This is okay shopping. St. Vincent de Paul. No, oh, the thrift yeah. store. Yeah. It's no, like, where's that? It's like um, Goodwill. It's But it's like almost down to, it's like. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's mm-hmm. like oh, Goodwill, don't. but. Ah, oh, I That's need like to my, go. so my mom and it's stepdad insane. are like master Antique, thrifters yeah. and antiquers. And they so really are. they've taken me there like throughout the years and they always like to find So do little. you like new things? I like a mixture. Okay, like, yeah, I like eclectic too. mixture. I, like I have too. not yeah, had have nightstands mostly, but in I do seven years. Nice dance. I yeah, just got exactly. Them. Sorry, just like from home goods. No, I mean, no. no, that's what I had. Do you know what I had as a nice dance? A fifty dollars stool from Home Goods for the past seven years. But the stools are not bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, like, I love a stool. I mean, I feel like with all the like surfaces, like what I'm not yeah. gonna buy nice versions of like everything. No, but also there's kids and like everything. Exactly. My kids ruin everything. My house I is a very kid friendly house. Good we don't money. Have, um, no, no, we I don't have, like, have it. Yeah, stains on the couch. Like you just can't. Like no. who gives a shit? It's like you have why, kids. Exactly. I'm like, and nobody's gonna know the difference if you mix it well. Then nobody knows yeah. if you no. have like nice lamps and then like one nice couch couches. and one yeah, like whatever. Exactly. Like I know yeah, I'm with you. I agree. We're the same. I learned a new acronym today. What is what? it? Because she's text Scoop before you got here and was just oh. like, "What do you? What do you have?" You know? <laughs> this is is like, that why he told you about my knitting? He did yeah. tell us about the and knitting and the jewelry. jewelry. Oh my god! But he said, "God, I didn't even know we were going to talk look about it. it. I brought I, you it to with you. I know you can knit. Feel free to knit like an old lady." helps me focus more I think, if me I'm too. doing something listen, like that. Yeah. Right? And listen. It, yeah. He said you this. don't get embarrassed though. Is I mean, true? not really anymore. I don't think so. Not <laughs> as much as some, <laughs> some. I'm trying to think about something that would embarrass me. Like if something horribly embarrassing happened, I think, yeah. Can we but, try? No. Yeah, let's <laughs> try. What's the most let's embarrassing try. thing to know? <laughs> um, but he said G-Pat. And I'm like, G-Pat? What is G pat? Oh, you don't even know what G pat is. I didn't is? know what it was. It sounds like an ex, like stuff? um, a soldier. I'm certain he made it up, and it's not a thing. <laughs> is is it not? Because we're gonna use it. What now. is it? What does it mean? Greatest person of all time. That's so nice. How cute. He said that about himself or me. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Good morning, it's me, G pat." <laughs> That's. I, I know, think he. Said, oh my god. Yeah. First of all, I think that he meant goat. No, no. No, I know, but he, I think but he, he put, put he no, no, but I think he thought that he was saying goat. Let's call, no, him. Wait, no. let's call him. Call him and ask him. Because it's call on him the pod. Right now. Yeah, call him on the pod and Where's ask him. Where's my phone? In my <laughs> in massive your, bag. In your bottomless bag. Because he spelled it out what it means. No, oh, no, I know. I just yeah. think he like, hold on, wait. I he, hope he thought it was the goat. He, this he this would be amazing if he, if he did. Hope. Oh, shit, I should. <laughs> Wait, you're on the podcast. Wait, you're on the podcast. I just need to tell you before you say anything embarrassing. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, hello then. <laughs> <laughs> That's so smooth. Jojo, jo, did you mean when you said G Pat, which is honestly so cute, first of all, thank you for thinking that about me. Greatest person of all time. But who did, have you heard that before? No, I just made it up. Oh my oh, God. Oh, it's so it's a cute. thing. It's a thing. Okay, wow. That's awesome. I'm sorry. Why are you? Confusing why you? No, not at all. I just, not at all. You didn't do anything I, wrong. How's the podcast going? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's good. so good. We love you and miss you. What's up, girl? 
Hi. <laughs> What's up? We wish you were on the fourth mic. That'd be fun. I know. You know we should come back. Scoot. Yeah, come back with both of this you. This is a massive podcast. This is going to get us a lot of attention. It is. <laughs> No, it really is. Did y'all rehash any of the old times? Are we keeping that secret? That's top secret. Top secret stuff. No, we we, We touched on it. We touched on it. Yeah, Yeah. we've been talking about way more important things. Olivia. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, well, love you. All right, G-Pat. I'll talk to you later. All right, G-Pat. Bye. 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 That's so, so cute. cute. I mean, he's like, I made it up. Oh, anyway. He was like really proud. I love it. He's so I love cute. it. I think it's so funny that like we've known Scoop for what, 20 something years? I know years? to you, he and must 20, be like a two, And then we came at like 22 two, years. At least 22 years. And yeah. then I, when I met you, I was like, we reached out to you because we want you on the podcast. Dude. And we're saying this all in front of Scoot. And someone was like, what about Scoop? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> don't care about you being on the podcast, G-Pat. You're just no, but I thought it was hilarious. I can't I was imagine like, him course, doing. But like we were just as we were saying saying right now, I'm like he doesn't <laughs> seem like the podcast like he type didn't, though. No, he didn't. It didn't feel like he's, he's a, so private. He yeah. like doesn't. Yeah, he like doesn't. Um, no. But I feel like he needs two more because he's got such a fun personality. It would be fun to have he him is. here because yeah. it's like us and yeah. his friends. Yeah. He'll be yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. But and we could do it even together. It did to me in the moment. Everyone's like, well, what about Scoot? Oh, he would like <laughs> never be offended by yeah. anything like no, that, of no, course. No, no. I thought but it was cute. It's so, so cute. That's so funny. Yeah. I, he just, yeah, I, I, I should go soon. And Yeah, yeah. All right. Can we ask you a couple questions go before you go? Go for it. Okay. This is just because it feels right. What can you say during sex that you can also say at the dinner table? table um oh god everything i'm thinking of is making me physically ill <laughs> um, that's what you can say <laughs> i i don't okay wait pass the salt i'm just oh. kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are like oh no honestly oh. i i can't think of one thing that I wouldn't like that. make me we'll cringe. just go with it okay because wouldn't it be so funny if you were having sex and you just randomly said that and the other that person was like, so, what? I kind of feel like I just want you to just randomly just like, say could you it. just Please flip that? It. I don't even Try think it, it would be, like, it would just be like, okay, whatever. I don't know. She's saying something weird. I just, <laughs> like, like, it's so more of that. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> okay. Everything else that would be on the nose is like, <laughs> I know. You, <laughs> more, please. Ew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. That's fine. Um, It's your last day on earth. What are you eating? Oh, my God. A pizza or, um, like, definitely pizza of some sort. I really like ham and tre- cheese croissants. Like, I know I'm not just saying that, but I eat them every single day for like three years. What? Right? And you got that today? I it's know. so That's weird. weird. That's weird. Like, for three years, my, like, my brother mates. would be like, mm, another one. Wow. Yeah. Like, it's just it, like every single day I had to have one. So it's crazy that you bought one. We That's weird. It's like so my favorite sure. taste. Because that That's, hasn't, I've been here every day. My whole life. Never, never, never has there once been a has she brought home croissant. a what? ham and cheese. So it's not croissant. something that you provide. No, no. ever. That's that never happened. So that's weird. honestly so crazy. <laughs> because like, and it's like a random thing. Like it's not. It is a random thing, and like that specific one. Like I'm weirded out, but that's that's <gasps> that's wild. Because every day it's like. Anyways. This is the beginning of a beautiful. <laughs> okay. What know. would you do if you found a dead body in a hotel room? Um, I would just, I would like, first of all, I would freak out that like someone was going to think it was me. And then there would be like a, like a podcast or a documentary about it. And I would get put in, I mean, that, isn't that like worst nightmare yes. going? Yeah. Then I would just like not touch it and not, I would, first I would scream and then I would guess call the police. Yeah. Yeah. That would be practical. You, we've heard some odd things. Yeah. I'm trying to think about um, it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Literally. Okay. Uh, what's the last thing you Googled? The pod. I when I walked in, <laughs> I opened up Safari to look up something else, and yeah. your guys' faces were on, and I was like, "That's embarrassing." I was just <laughs> no, so it must have been that. Let's but see. she did the thing like, "Oh we my can god, look it looks like I'm else googling too. you guys," but I was just yeah. listening to the podcast. And <laughs> um, it's like what? what where all my sign is tabs? Rachel Wilson? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> When's her birthday? <laughs> kind of embarrassing to admit that. Let's see. Okay, Chipotle. Oh, oh. knitting patterns. <laughs> um, ADT. For knitting patterns. Yes, this is all very <laughs> jewelry, very meat. Like, um, yeah. Oh, the tibia bone. Never mind. I don't know what that's about. Maybe I don't, know. I don't even know what it is. Mm-hmm. Like a bone, a certain bone. <laughs> it's a bone in your oh, body, like a, like a tibia. Oh, a like tibia, a knee. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think it was for an audition. 
Okay. So okay. I because I was it saying was like the word. The word. Yeah. You're like, what am I saying? Yeah. What's okay. your biggest panty dropper? Oh, I know what it is. What? A pillow in the doorway. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, it just gets me so wet. No, seriously. <laughs> Honestly, that much like respect. I know. It's like it's like being a genuinely like respectful, kind That's person and trying to show it, and like no. but but not in an obvious way. Yeah, it's a panic dropper. No, it is Ge- genuine. I I guess. The gen- mm, yeah. Even absolutely. if you're genuinely like nuts, it's like yeah. Yeah, but at least you're you. Okay, if you had to wait, did I just go? Or did you, oh, no, I, I did. If you had to pick a song to play every time you walked into a room, what would it be? Got it. Okay, let's. <laughs> Wait, that's hard. That's really hard because I really like like all kinds of different music, but but it's like it's gonna represent you. I it's, know. E- it's every time you walk into it's a room. Just it's no pressure. It's just every single every time. time you walk into a room, it starts playing. Okay. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> easy peasy. I don't know. God damn it! I'm trying to think. Oh, maybe like an Indigo Girls song. Okay. okay. Like I went to the I know that song is having a moment right now because well, Barbie. I, don't even know I went to the doctor. Oh, closer to fine. Um, closer oh, I yeah. am to fine. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that song is having a moment, but I'm a stan for life of that song. So you were the yeah. You're also having a moment. So do you just I mean, you yeah. know? Tell yeah. that to everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're stranded on an island with three people. Oprah, Amy Schumer, and Channing Tatum. Okay. You can only save one. Where do these questions I don't know. come from? Uh, who do you save? <laughs> Oprah, Amy Schumer, If you don't want to answer Chandler that one. That's such a hard one for a Pisces. Because I would be like, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just die. You're so like, that one, I, other, one more can live. <laughs> that's what I would do. And that's your answer. Yeah, that's my answer. But oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I don't hard. love putting like hierarchy on like life like that. Yeah, no, that's a tough I just one. went to who could I have sex with? Channing. Yeah, that's why that's I would, who I would choose to have sex with. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> Pass that's, the salt. that's why I keep Pass people alive. The salt. Oh my god, it's okay. amazing. All right, we um, did thanks it. Thanks for having. Oh me my god. Gail. Oh my god. Thank you so you much. Are- We're back. I feel like Rob was sad he wasn't at this one. Yeah, I like her. Yeah. I knew it. The, we know Nothing. the ones where Rob would actually want to try to show up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was surprised you and far between. here. I was like, this is one he may show up for. Yep. I was, I was sad to miss it. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunate for you. She's fucking rad. Yeah, I know. What do you like about her? I mean, I like her work. I don't yeah. know her personally, so... <laughs> I'm not saying that other than I've like I like things that she's done. I'm she's a fan so of her work. Good. And Me she's too. she so does good. cool work. Yeah. She's very, very cool. She's very cool. talented. She is cool. She's cool. She's cool. You know? She does she's have cool. like a pretty cool dad. And mom. And mom. And mom. Hello. I, I know. know. I'm just saying she's it's been role modeled. You know what's interesting? Both of her parents, like, you think like, okay, obviously all the movies you could think of. That are your favorites of Kevin Bacon's, whatever. And for me, well, actually, one case, Tremors is probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, but with Kira, Singles, in her scene with the hot dog. She's like, I'm never going to forget this hot dog. Do you not know? Singles? Singles, what? of course. I saw but like, Singles, you know, but I can't. Right? You can't. No. Oh. I, it's a, that's a movie for me that I... Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Tremors, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> what did I just see Kevin B- oh that movie did you watch that movie with um, the one that was just on Netflix with the house and the Kevin Bacon was in it and come on Rob it was so good there was a house with Kevin Bacon <laughs> come that on pretty much it just down. came out it was Julia Roberts oh is this the end of the world one yes no, I didn't watch that. Oh, my God. I loved it. It was so good. You should watch it. Okay. Okay, question. Yeah. What do you think serendipities mean? Mm. Do you think that they mean— It's my favorite movie! <laughs> my favorite topic. Serendipity is do my favorite you movie. Think, do you think— Do you think— Rob's face? No, well, I like to talk to someone that's a little more skeptical because I mm. want to know what you think it means. I'm going to tell you a quick little story. Yeah, I, need, I need a little more context to— I was getting ready the other day doing laundry, and 
I had a black sweater and I saw a red string on it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so I took the string and I was like, this is supposed to mean something. Yeah, isn't I, it Sarah's thing? I don't remember what it was at all, but I, don't, I have no idea. So I put the string down. I was like, that means something. I forget what it means. Done with it. Nadine sends us a script. The title is The Red String. And I went, oh, that's fucking weird. Okay. Then I go down a rabbit hole on Google and start going, what is this red string theory? Like, what does this mean? All these different theories, right? And like one of them is that like you have this invisible red string attached to your pinkies connecting you to like your soulmate or someone you're supposed to experience something really profound with, right? And that through whatever circumstances, you'll find that person, okay? So I'm like, okay, that's one theory. Then they're like, the red string is in Kabbalah. It's in, you know, all these different um, cultures. And I was like, okay, so reading all about it, go to sleep, take the kids to school. Drop the kids off at school. They have a Lunar New Year's booth set up. And it says, the red string. And I went, what in the actual heck is going on? So they're like, would you like a red string? You can write your wish on it and put it on the wish tree. And I was like, yes, Mrs. Adams. (laughs) And so I did that, whatever, right? The only mom I met at school, she walks up. She's like, hi. She has on a red string. I was like, what's with the red string? And she's like, you know, a client of mine got it from Israel for me, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, that's incredible, weird, synchronistic serendipity. This one that I'm wearing, it was really cute because then she sent her kids to Shepherd's birthday and she put this in there for me as a gift because I told her the whole story. Okay, all that to say, what is it? Do you think it's... I have two answers for you. Okay, go. One, have you seen The Truman Show? Yeah. You're just like living in a world that this is all planned and calculated and someone's written in the red string to fuck with you. Huh. Okay. Like we're actors right now, just You're doing a good job acting like I feel high again. (laughs) Cameras around and it's just uh, yeah. It's It's a simulation. Yeah, it's it's writing. Someone wrote it. Okay. Or it's just frequency illusion. Meaning? Uh, Bader Meinhof frequency and illu- illusion. Like you say something and mm-hmm. are conscious about it, and you're going to start seeing examples. Right, of like it. a yellow van. Then all yeah. of a sudden, you see yellow vans everywhere because you're aware of them. It's mm-hmm. there's not more yellow vans right now. It's just you're looking for yellow vans, so you're going to see them. Right. So do you? So you don't think it signifies in any way like you're exactly where you're supposed to be in this moment, or? The re- I mean, the red, str- the red string thing is cool since it culturally has significance mm-hmm. beyond just like a yellow van. Right. I am all about signs. So, yeah, I, I know you guys are. No, like I fully believe it. Because I'm sorry. Like, here's an example. <laughs> the rarest car you could ever think of, okay? It was like a 1980 Geostorm convertible bright yellow, right? Mm-hmm. Like literally. Like someone had ta- brought this up, like as like a car they had. That day, I went driving, and what did I fucking see? So what's the sign there? Did you like track them down, and you no. you're supposed to marry the driver of that car? <laughs> then I followed she did. the driver. She did, and now we are <laughs> now you're in married. Love. No, but it was weird. Like that's like that. For, that's an example of something so rare that that's like kind of. crazy. Crazy that you would see something so specific that like you never see. Well, I don't, but I wouldn't say that you never see it. You just weren't aware of it. So he's sorry, saying it's how just many the yellow frequency 1980s of thought. convertible, right? Right. But then if it's a th- frequency of thought, then that's equally as empowering and amazing because it means oh, I have that control then to call in more experiences that mirror my thoughts. So if I change my thoughts to a frequency yeah, yeah. that matches the things I want, I will then experience more of those things. Sure, I'll let you stretch it to that. I'm, I agree. Okay. But you don't think there's any sort of like spiritual significance as far as like, if that were to happen to you, would you be like, wow, that's weird? Or would you be like, 
I know I'm supposed to be where I'm at because of these synchronicities. Well, That's where I take I, too I wouldn't far. say that. Uh, I would think it's weird and like I'd I'd land somewhere in the middle on that spectrum. I'm not phrasing it like I'm where I'm supposed to be now. Like this is my sign, but I'll like take comfort of like all right, that's a sign that I'm not on the wrong path. See, that's what I do because, like, I was questioning, like, did I make the right move by moving my kids and, like, going to this new school and, like, being in this area and, like, Ooh, that not that was your sign knowing. of, like, but yes. I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. also try not to, I'm like, I'm not going to make a life decision based on, like, oh, there's some sign that feels like. No, like I I'm, don't I'm either. I'm going to look at, like, schools for Calvin to go to and someone mentions a old yellow car and I see, like. Oh, you're just. I, I'm just saying, and I and I go to four schools, and one of the schools happens to have that old yellow car sitting in the parking lot. Like mm-hmm. I'm not going to base my whole decision on that. But it might strike you. It might be like, oh, that's crazy. Like I heard about this car today, and there it is. That wouldn't make like, you I like feel like a little bit like maybe this is the school he's supposed to go to. I think about it, but I'm not going to weight that as like what's the rating of the school and is it close to our house and all the other things that should also take weight He's in a decision. just going to be the yellow car in front. Yeah. <laughs> She's gone. Where'd she go? <clears throat> she had her phone. She's no. mad I brought up her yellow car again. No, I'm just annoyed because it was very specific and you're not acknowledging that that's weird. Well, I'm saying I like, I like when that stuff happens and I think it's cool. It happens. But I'm not, <laughs> I'm not putting too much weight on that as mm. like, I'm going to change the I course. I put everything on oh, yeah. it. All like, my eggs is oh going my in that basket now. Yeah. I, that's a sign. That's why you have three of those sitting outside now. You've invested all your money in buying those cars. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> geostorms. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it sways my decisions. I think it just more confirms decisions that were already made that I take as little like, okay, that's a nice like show from the universe that you're on the right path. Because well, everything anything. is like— yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. I'm not saying, yeah. like, if you find comfort in that, like, you're stupid. That would be awesome <laughs> if you did. Just shame me if you find me. Yeah. You're stupid. That's ridiculous. You went to the wrong school. Who likes soup? <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't, yeah. Okay. I mean, we know. We know, like, what his reaction is going to be. Yeah, no, but I'm things. curious. I feel like I was more in the middle than you expected. He was expected more in there. the middle than I expected. That's fair. You know, I'm just still mad had, at him that he wouldn't yeah. acknowledge that car is so rare. I I agree that like that is a uh, that is weird, like a crazy coincidence that happened that you said it and then it showed up. Yeah, but I don't like. Do I think it was like your grandpa communicating you from the dead? I never said it was. Well, I know. <laughs> well, there are some people that take it too far. Yeah, and that's the truth. When they're like, I sat down at this restaurant and they had forks. It was. So nuts. I and was I knew just I had to leave my wife and go. I was thinking, I was, yeah, I yeah. had to eat with a fork. Yeah. And then you're just like, no, settle down. That's not a sign. That's a fork. Yeah. Like, don't I change your entire life over some forks that were at this diner. Right. But if you see a yellow geo whatever, please do change your mind on everything. Yeah, everything. Everything. Do everything. a complete 180 on everything in your life. Absolutely. To follow that. <laughs> Yellow oh, that geo. Okay, <laughs> another question. Yeah. Someone else can take over. You can stop me. The coffee's kicking in. Do you think there's a way to click into that more? Do you think there's a way to experience more synchronicities in your life? I'm, I mean, I'm sure there is. And just like <laughs> <laughs> being receptive to it, I'm sure will like, I'm sure will help encourage them or you'll just take notice of them if that's what you're opening your mind to do. Okay. Whereas like it's us, like you're fully open to signs. So you're going to see more signs. I'm fully closed off to them. So I'm not looking for them. I think there's a no, but this started, we talked about this before and you would text us Weird things that kept happening. Yeah, when we did like a serendipity list with each other. Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, you guys. <laughs> yeah, he's like, and I'm you're... driving a yellow van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't remember? Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, if you're looking you're for them. You're closed off, Rob. That's I don't, I, said. I think he's pretending to be more closed off than he is. I think he's more open to it than 
I'm oh, I'm not looking for it is what I'm saying. And I think if you're looking for it, you'll notice more signs. And if you're I not, don't feel like, like I'm mm-hmm. looking for it. I think I notice it when it happens. So. You're lo- you're open to it I'm much open more to it, than I am. But I'm not like, give me a sign, people, give me a sign. Like I'm like just doing my thing and then I'll be like, Oh, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Are you looking for signs? No. No. They just come to you. They just come to me. I'm yeah. not like, oh, I really hope I see I, this yeah, I'm today. Not, I'm, <laughs> I don't think you're doing that. I just mean the fact that you're open to it means that you're looking for signs for the universe throughout your day and life. Yeah. Not like, I need to see some red strings and like manifesting it in that sense. Right. Right. But... You're open to seeing signs, so I think you're going to see signs. I think hers, particularly that one, was like a neon light, like smacking her in the face. So I feel like I know that was pretty like, intense, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, I think for me, is that's still like so ambiguous. How so? Of just like a red string and what the meaning. I mean, that one's a little less, but like the the yellow car. <laughs> That's more ambiguous. Yeah, of like, it's all right, more like, what, what is does it mean? What meaning am I taking from this? Right. And what value does this have other than like, yeah. God's winking at me? Right. Well, sometimes it is that. Yeah, I like fine. it when God winks at me. That makes me feel comfort. I'm like, oh, okay. I agree. I'm, and I think so too. Yeah. What is that? Oh. Where did that come from? Jana. I made that for my first communion. Why is Wait, it on the here? back it says Robert Holes 130. What is, what's, what, what's my last name? What's my last name? What if it was like, what if it was like 1933? It's spelled so weird. But how do you say it? I don't know. Say it. Hollis. Yeah, I won't said, ever say it. You said it wrong. Well, I know because I was just I won't reading say it. it. I know. I, I try I not to say, say it. it. I try so hard not because to say it. Because of how it's spelled. <laughs> One, yeah, my wait, mom, what was I, 130? My, What's the 130? Probably January 30th. But it's yeah. it's one um colon 30. Like 130. It's probably what it's probably what time the, my communion was. It's probably there was yeah. probably like waves of kids. Um my parents moved out of their house and we're going through They moved out? Yeah. Oh my childhood house. Um, oh, when? Like a month or two ago. We're just finding that out now. I feel like I don't even know you. Um, and she asked if I wanted that. Obviously. And I said no. But then I sent you guys a picture of it. And uh, you were like, please, please get it so we can hang it up. We do want it. Yeah, we yeah. do. They moved into another, they just wanted like a one level house because my dad going up and down the stairs mm. has become too much. Mm. So they just wanted a one level house and to be closer to my sister. Okay. I saw Jana, by the way. You did? I sure did. Where? At Rob's house. When did you go to Rob's house? Well, I had to go. Rob made me go to a thing. <gasps> oh, when you went Major. to the thing. That's right. Yeah. How was that? Jana? Yeah. Great. Yeah? Yeah. And then Rob sent us a video showing his mother salt burn. <laughs> yeah, that was so disturbing. <laughs> like, why? Well, I mean, why not? It was... Why? Why not? It was fun to watch her reacting to... <laughs> All of the scenes. In the I movie. still haven't seen it, but I just know the scene. I just know the scene. There's too. multiple scenes, though. Like there well, was like the one- four or five moments in that movie that I was just like filming her. <laughs> that doesn't make you uncomfortable to watch your mom be so turned on. <laughs> <laughs> she was not turned on. She was more disgusted by everything <laughs> happening. Oh my goodness! So I had to go. We have fun. <laughs> what? Oh, I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> well, we, we had a blast. We played, we played the video Simpsons games. arcade game. And My arm was sore the next day. I, <laughs> I was don't know going why. after it. It was like a stand-up arcade game. You know, and you're like, tut, tut, tut. yeah. Anyways, I don't want to talk about that night. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Where did you um, go? I had my grandmother's memorial. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you guys. So her sister, who you know is still with us, and her husband. <laughs> We're, and Leah came with me because she, she knew my grandma. And we, <laughs> anyways, we're all sitting eating brunch. We're sitting there and out of nowhere, my great aunt goes, I was kidnapped when I was seven. <laughs> oh. And then her husband, how, wait, how old is her husband she? right after goes, so was I. 
<laughs> was this like an improv game that they decided to start playing? <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> Leah, <laughs> stop it down the like, and, and, and Leah and I look at each other like, what they, did they just do? What I think we said. <laughs> how, how old are they? Uh, they're old. I don't know. Like, you know, 80s, early 90s, whatever. Just, like, oh, that old. Okay. <laughs> and like, and we're like, what? Was she really kidnapped? Yes. Was he? <laughs> you didn't get his story. <laughs> she told her story, but here's the best part. She tells her story. She's like, <laughs> He took me up Laurel Canyon. It was before there were houses there. I kicked his glasses in. Like, there was a whole story, right? And she's like, and then he brought me back down. And she goes, the next day, my best schoolmate was kidnapped too. Was by she the re- same man. Was she returned? She didn't get to that part of the story. So was there a reason she told this story? So here's, that's the thing. Not at all. Right. It was just out of, like, We luncheon. were just sitting there and out of nowhere... I was kidnapped when I was seven. So was I. <laughs> That's the part. It's like, is that how they met and connected? Was it like I was so kidnapped was at seven and he was like, what? Was he her best schoolmate? Like, uh, how does this no. tie in together? He's a husband later in life. Later in life. I wonder if that's what brought them right. together, though, is that bond that only those two people. That trauma bond. That trauma bond know. of being kidnapped at seven. I don't know. Can we wow. call her? So this is her conversation starter. There were many. Oh, there were? His conversation starter with me was, do you remember we had a party years ago and I walked up to you and I showed you this thing and it was rat poison. <laughs> and you said, that's what you're going to do. That I apparently said this to him. That's what you're going to do? What he does now that mean? has created rat poison or rat prevention things that don't harm the and rats. You were like and it's because of people. you? And he said, it's because I told him, this is what you're going to do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this, is an example of, this is an example of taking a sign too seriously. <laughs> Rachel, I don't think you've ever once said to someone, that's what you're going to do. Maybe except for that one moment to that man, and he made rat poison. I didn't know what Leah and I were looking at each other like, what? What is happening? Are we in And then I think you were your mom? Because I could hear her saying that. Oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Your mom. I could hear her being like, that's what you're going to (laughs) do. At eight. Okay, so if you were sitting at a brunch. Yeah. And you had to... Say it was like a go around the table conversation starter. Yeah. What would yours be? Hers is that she was kidnapped at seven. And his was. And his so was, was I. So was I. What would yours be? A conversation starter? Yeah. This is gonna take some thought. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. I would leave this party that's making people go around and start conversations like that. There's parties like this. Yeah. I, I would like probably that. tell like a really embarrassing story about myself. Like what? <laughs> Tell a really embarrassing story about yeah, yourself, like Rachel. What? Come on. Um, <laughs> uh, what's your conversation starter? I think if it had to be tonight, it would be the red string. Okay. Because I'd be like, oh, that's one I can just. Mine would be my aunt telling me she was kidnapped when she was seven. Perfect. That's see, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Rob. <sighs> Oh, I have one for you. What? I just filmed my mom watching Saltburn. <laughs> there you go. Yep. There you go. We gave it to you. There, you, there it is. There it is. There it you is. know? Whoop. Whoop. There it is. <laughs> that was in the other episode, too. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. People, so people watch more than one episode, I hope. I hope, too. Yeah, and if they don't get it, they'll be like, I need to go back and watch it because I don't get it. You know? Is that what our audience sounds like? All of them. <laughs> All of them. All right, you guys ready for yes. Super today's ready. question? My idiot brother gave my daughter some potentially bad advice, but I'm not sure. Um, his brother's 42, and he's 44, and his daughter is 15. Okay. For context. My daughter got into some trouble. Nobody got hurt, but there were drugs involved and consequences. Probably lessons learned. 
After this, my brother, who has a good heart and always means well, but has been in some trouble himself, tried to help her and be there for his niece. He basically told her that he will always be there for her, and if she's ever in trouble, she can call him, and he won't tell her parents. He also said it's okay to break the rules sometimes, and if she's not sure which rules are okay to break, she can call him to ask. And again, he won't tell her parents, which is the writer. I was alarmed by possibly being out of the loop here, especially when my brother was involved. Am I overreacting? Is it actually safer for my daughter to have another adult to confide in? I've been in this situation. Funkle. He's the Funkel. Yeah. What? You've been in this situation. I've been in this situation when I was a nanny, mm. in the sense that I remember when the girls that I used to nanny, I was really close with, still am close with, but I remember feeling like I didn't want them to not be honest with me, and I didn't want them to think they'd get in trouble. And I remember one time, one of them, um, Willa, she called me because she was at a party and she had drank too much and she needed to go home. And I was so happy that she called. I called, I picked her and her friend up. They came, slept over. I didn't tell her parents, but what I did was I said that she had to. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> and so I think it is important for teenagers to feel like they can have someone to trust, that they're not going to get in trouble that the person's not going to tell their parents, but that the person then has enough boundaries to come to them and be like, but you are, and here's why. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's tricky. Yeah, you definitely want your kids to feel like they have a safe space that they can go and not just, uh, yeah, not be able to do something if they're in a situation that they don't want to be in yeah, and not have an adult that they can turn turn to for help. But it does put the adults in a bad situation when they're saying, like, I'm not going to tell your parents. And yeah. then I think that there's certain boundaries where it's like there's certain things you do have to tell someone's parents. Right, which I guess, though, in this situation, we don't know. Like, the brother, if it's something serious enough, right. would probably go to him and tell him. Right. But it's still probably okay for his daughter to think that she's got a safe space that isn't going to just turn into her getting in trouble. Right. For Briar, yeah. Like what if your brother went <laughs> and told her that and was like I'm not going to tell your mom, don't worry. I'd get pissed. W- would you be mad? But y- you would also find comfort that she has another yeah. person that will help protect her. Yeah. Well, like my mom always created a space that I could just tell her, you know. Right. That's that's kind of where I went. Too, yeah. was that hopefully you can build enough trust with your kids mm-hmm. that it's not going to like immediately there's gonna be a consequence if you fuck up. But they might it might not occur to them in the moment, like in this situation that I had, like their parents were super understanding and cool and like really with it people. Like they wouldn't have overreacted. Right. It wouldn't have been, but I think like as a teenager, that's not who you want to go to because yeah. Well, and you know, we also have a different perspective being the parents in the situation. Right. Like as a kid, I I probably would have felt the same way that I couldn't have gone to my parents without getting in trouble. Right, right. Whether that's the case or not. Whether That's what I mean. They thought they were parenting me in a way that I could, which is I would imagine how the three of us feel. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that our kids see it that way. Agreed. Right. You'd be fine with your brother doing that? Or how would you feel? I don't know. I trust my brother so much that I'm kind of like, well, yeah. You know what I mean? I'd be mad. You're also a hard person to have this with because your mom was so open. Right. Yeah, so it's it's hard for me to relate. All right, so let's pivot to Olivia. Your brother has this conversation with Elliot. How do you feel? Pissed. I'd be mad. You wouldn't want Elliot going to your brother? (sighs) No. Like, say there was a situation... I would not. What would you want, Elliot? You you would hope that he just comes to you and Jeff? Yeah. But yeah. what if that's not an option? Then I would tell my brother he has to tell me whatever Elliot told him. And break his trust with Elliot and prevent him from potentially coming to him next time? Yeah. You'd be fine with that? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I feel like I would be... 
here's it's different in my situation because my brother's made and he's doing well now, but the choices he's made in his life yeah. have led to circumstances that are not safe. All right, let's change this then. Yeah. Rachel tells Elliot the same thing. If oh. you need help, hmm. I won't tell your mom. You can come to I'd me. I'd be fine with that. Be fine with that. And would yeah. you be fine with her keeping something from you that I happened? would trust 100% that if it was something that put himself or someone else in danger that I needed to know— that she would tell me or figure make, out a way to get me to know. Or mm-hmm. make Elliot tell you. Or make Elliot 100%. tell me. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> it is a trust thing. It's like, well, yeah. depending on the person, right? Well, you're kind of like, what are those person's right. choices like? And are mm-hmm. they going to guide them to? And hopefully my brother will get to that place. But just as far as yeah. today goes, I'm like, right. mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're really yeah. good at. <laughs> Really deflecting a lot of these questions. So it's like it depends on the person. What well, does? I know. I know. It it's always. I know. I'm just saying. It's funny. That's always our answer. That like yeah. there is circumstances where this would be appropriate and be fine and wouldn't be mad about. But then there's also circumstances where I'd be fucking pissed. Yeah. And there, it depends on the. It depends on the parents. Mm-hmm. You know, like I remember when I was in that situation, they were so grateful. They were like, I just want you to know, like, it means the world to us that our kids can count on you. Mm -hmm. And I think other parents would take it personally or make it about them or, you know. But I think even if you create a safe place, like, there was no rules in my house. Zero. But I still didn't want to tell my mom. Mm-hmm. You know, well, there's like shame and embarrassment and like right, yeah, that kids are dealing with how to how to walk through life and, and experience those things. I also think there's something really fun when you're a teenager about getting away with things. Like I remember when I was a kid, I used to like it when my mom got mad. You'd push her buttons a little bit. Like I, it made me feel like. There was, like you were connecting with her? Or what no, it made me feel like she was taking it seriously. Mm. Like, so I would like, because there was, you couldn't get her mad easily. So if I did something that, that was that egregious that made her mad, I was like, I got her. Finally, mm-hmm. I'm feeling something. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think it's too, like, we both grew up with single moms. Right. And brothers. Right. Yeah. We're on to something here. Mm-hmm. Well. Well, guys. Oh. I'd okay. like to learn how to knit. I just wanted to say. So oh, see. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I needed to say that. Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>